bum 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 all right we're live we're ready to go we're back in planet coaster today you can probably hear see that blue just glistening just glistening on me there because we're ready to go and back by popular demand Hey, what's up, Phil? <laughs> Fear sucks. Uh, but what's up, Wise Gaming slash uh, Benny? I think that's what you wanted me to call you from now on. Uh, hope you're doing awesome. Good to see you in chat. As always, where's the Silver Dollar City recreation? There it is. There it is. I found it. I found it. <laughs> As we load on in here, great. Uh, I suppose we should let everyone know, right? What's up, James? How's it going? Should, uh... let... Oh gosh, myself. I just had to get the URL or the link for Discord so everyone knows that we're live. I'm on YouTube. Boom, and now everyone can know, because I used to have an automatic, um, I have an automatic thing for Twitch, but when may I do it for YouTube, so I've had to do it manually, so. Brett Higgs has a nice smile. I, um, I, yes, Brett does have a nice smile, he does. <laughs> everyone in chat besides us have no idea what we're talking about, though, but... Kimwood Grove, what's up? How's it going? Zach, what's up? Still looking for seeing the finished uh, Silver Dollar City. Me too. Maybe I'll finish it someday. How do you get uh, today off from the park? I'm. I didn't. <laughs> the park's already closed. <laughs> I, I did work today. <clears throat> Um, so we'll have to wait here for a moment because Silver Dark City takes a long time to load in the game, so It does it does Make shorts for me. I mean kind of like clips and just make it into shorts <laughs> Park is your home. Yeah, I basically live there. I only come home uh, uh, when I need to get away for, for a few hours and then I just go back because it's uh where I live <laughs> I work at Silver Dollar City, so the very thing we're recreating, that's where I work at. So I'm literally still at work, technically. <sighs> like all, like always. Ba basically, you know. We can load the park up in here. Uh, hopefully it'll pop up. Um, I'm there, I'm not, I don't get, like, many days off, except for the seven days a week, so. Um, why isn't the game capture, capturing Planko? Why isn't it popping up? It should already be popping up. Sometimes it takes a second. Game capture. Let's reselect Planet Coaster and see if that works. No, nothing. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I mean, I've I've been working every day, so I don't know. But I've uh, been looking good so far, Crane Sorority City. Thank you. Um, yeah, I've been working it on and off on it for multiple years now. I do really want to get it done though. I would love to get it done, but I just have to be in a specific mood and have some motivation to do it. 
that's kind of the the thing about it, recreations is is you got to be precise you got to get references you got to get all this um you know it's not more of your creativity it's more of you're recreating something so you don't really have uh the freedom to kind of do whatever you want um because you want to try and make it as close to the actual thing as possible and that's the hard that's that that's really the difficult part about it you know but I know it will pay off when I do finish it. I might lighten up for a while on uh, recreations. I might not recreate anything until Planet Coaster 2 if that comes out. Or at least uh, at least for a while if I do finish it. Because, you know, a lot of people say you should recreate other stuff. But I'm like, you know, I'm already... Um, <laughs> You know, I'd rather get this one finished before I recreate another part, start recreating another park. You know, if if, if I w could go back, I'd probably would have would have had a different approach to this project. Uh, it's gone through many stages. Um, I've restarted it probably at least like three times, kind of. Could I create Pantheon? Um, I don't know if I could create it perfectly because. Uh, uh, with the switch track and everything would may be kind of a difficult thing to kind of do, but, um, I know there's kind of a glitch you can use for, like, uh, kind of use switch tracks. It's not really a switch track, but it's kind of a switch track. Um, I think there is a glitch you can use to kind of get it to work. It's a little bit weird, but it does work. Doesn't look realistic, of course, but uh, it's just kind of a glitch to where you can put two separate tracks together, I think. Um, it's really, really strange, kind of, so. I don't know if I've really ever tried to use that before, but. Be a shame if Planet Coaster 2 isn't backwards compatible. Um, I wouldn't give your hopes up on that. I don't think you're going to be able to, like, port your parks over. Trust me, I absolutely wish we would be able to, but I'd, I don't think it's going to be a thing. If that makes sense. Like, I just don't think they're going to make it to where you can port your stuff over. Because overall, I think it's going to be a different game. It's going to be a very similar game built on probably the same engine or like an updated version of the engine they use but it probably won't be possible to make it work because uh, they're probably going to change a lot of stuff for instance i don't think everything in planet coaster 1 is going to exactly be in planet coaster 2 the same way i think they're going to get either get rid of some flat rides and make more or like update the flat rides selection a little bit if that makes sense i think they'll update it my gosh this is taking a while to load uh i do hope they have a lot in the base game that isn't dlc i do hope for that um i also don't mind dlc i know some people don't like dlc because you have to pay extra to get all the stuff i personally don't care i, I actually don't mind it too much because i don't mind supporting the developers further to try and get more content into the game but I do agree that there should be a lot more in the base game uh, initially because it almost feels like the game's not complete unless you have the DLC and I feel like it should still feel like a complete game even without the DLC you know the DLC just adds some extra stuff on you know like water parks and stuff like that you know you're gonna watch multiverse of madness nice I did enjoy it that was, that was a good movie um, very, very horrifying, but it was good. <laughs> uh, you haven't missed anything, we just loaded in. Uh, so, we just loaded in. So when we left off, we are starting to make our way down Valley Road a little bit here. Um, I did work a little bit on the blacksmith shop, uh, the blacksmith right here. The shop is actually right here, and then the blacksmith's right here, um, where, uh, they actually create the stuff that they sell in the shop, so that's where that is. Um, I'm definitely going to finish it in Planet Coaster 1. It's going to be like my crown project for the conclusion of Planet Coaster 1. Um, I still feel like I have another good year or two to get it finished, so um, 
we're kind of in that, uh, we're not in a polishing stage right now, but I'm in a, I've kind of reevaluated how I'm going to finish this, and the best way to finish it is to start from the square, finish everything before I move on. So that's kind of the mentality I've kind of had lately, is just like, I'm not going to move forward until this spot is done. If that makes sense. That's kind of kind of the uh, the attitude I've kind of had uh, finishing this up. So we're going to go back down Valley Road again. Um, and this is kind of how I should have started it to begin with when I started the project. But instead, I kind of went around the whole area, did a little bit here, did a little bit over here. And that's just kind of how my build style is, is I, I just can't... I'm not good at staying in the same area for too long. I got to jump around and work on other things. Otherwise, I get myself really burnt out on that area. Um, so what my my plan was every time I stream it, I'll do a little bit of work at a time and uh, work my way through the rest of the park. So basically, what I when uh, what we've been doing is I went through the entrance, went through the square here. We finished up everything I wanted to on the square. And now we're going to start moving down Valley Road and we're going to make the loop around the entire park and hopefully finish it. So I'm going to go down here and kind of just touch up. We've done a lot on Valley Road already. Valley Road is just needs to be polished up a little bit, which is where Time Traveler and Thunderation is. As you can see, Flooded Mine still needs to get completely enclosed, and um, it's still not the best. It's not the best recreation. Um, I did what I could with what I had, and I'm not the best at dark rides to begin with. Uh, so recreating some of these scenes was a challenge because, you know, you don't have the characters and mannequins and, and everything that are on the ride that you have, uh, you know, unless without, unless I could do some Theme Maker's Toolkit items, which I'm not much of a uh, 3D modeling guy, so um, I'm not sure if I could be able to really do that. Maybe, maybe someday, but uh, I, I really haven't figured out the Theme Maker's Toolkit. I had at one point tried to before, but... Really couldn't get it going. So basically, we'll go down here. We'll finish up, polish this up. As you can see, I still have some buildings that need to be finished um, and stuff like that. And we're going to get all this polished up as we go down, work our way down here. Then I think once we get to these crossroads here, because we have two ways we can go back towards Expo or this way, I think it would make sense to go back towards Expo since this is kind of its own area, get this area finished and then move on to the main path. Because this isn't really the main path. This leads you back into this area which we got a good start on expo when we did start it we got some of the rides already in place i think we got a lot of the the tough stuff done for it but uh yeah we're gonna finish up expo and then we're gonna start heading back down here to the most underdeveloped area part of the uh the entire recreation uh, which i haven't really worked on at all and that's this little section here and fireman's landing i haven't done much with fireman's landing obviously and then um Obviously, some buildings around here. Um, we have, like, the... I think they have... Um, uh, there's a few food places there. The Riverfront Playhouse I already got going pretty well. And then we'll work down here. Probably finish up Mystic. Um, it needs some tender love and care because, you know, I, I kind of worked in and on and on of it uh, uh, since then. So... <clears throat> and then... Um, We'll work our way back over here. I'll probably finally start on River Blast. This is the one thing that I really don't feel... I haven't had motivation to do at all. Just because I don't really care for River Blast in the... Uh, uh, all that much anyways. And then, yeah. Uh, the Swing area and Outlaw Run is basically done. I could go back and maybe polish a couple things up here. But these areas are basically 100% done for the most part. Um, there's a couple of things that I still need to probably kind of work on. They're not completely, they aren't completely done. Like, there's a couple polishing here and there. I always miss something. Um, but, like, this fencing here, uh, I put up when Mystic was being built. I need to take that down and put the actual fencing in, uh, and stuff like that. So, uh, I've been streaming for, for many years, J Trains, many years. And, uh, I took a couple days off. And uh, I just wasn't feeling it the last few nights. Uh, we, we did stream two days ago, but um, uh, I did take like a just a slight break, just a little bit. Um, just wanted to let you know, enjoying your videos. Thanks for sharing your creativity. Well, I appreciate the kind words. Thanks for watching and thanks for being here. And I appreciate you guys.
for all the support that you guys do give me. It's been absolutely overwhelming, and uh, I really have appreciated you guys for all that. And uh, our subscriber count has been rocketing up, uh, which I can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, but glad you're enjoying the content, and uh, I hope to keep pumping them out. So, uh, Grandma and uh, Sister's flight has been delayed for three hours. I hate that. I hate it when that happens. Getting delayed on flights. But anyways, we'll head back this way. We'll finish up the powder keg area. And then we're going to start heading back up Hill Street. Um, actually, before we head up Hill Street, we'll probably work over here in the wildfire area. Um, so hopefully by then this area, they actually removed wildfire sign here. And they, this is all a construction area right here now. They removed, I think they removed this path here. So the only way to get back to uh, Wildfire is actually this path right here now. They actually removed this little shortcut path, um, which I hope they kind of put back in there eventually. But uh, um, uh, but uh, yeah, so hopefully Wildfire sign. I like having the little engine sign. It looks nice, and they did remove it. So hopefully it will make a return maybe. Um when they do redo this new area that they're going to be doing, because this is where, obviously where the fire was, and they, they lost these two buildings. Um, and they have have construction built all the way back to the waterfall here, so all of this is going to be renovated. They're doing something there. They've already started on construction, so I'm hoping maybe it will be open by next season. Um, you know, it's probably going to be a new restaurant or something. Um, so they probably could get it done by next season if they start now, I feel like. Um, so hopefully we'll see that develop into something pretty nice. I uh, hope we get a new restaurant, maybe a few new shops. Um, they might, it sounds like they might be announcing it soon, but I'm not sure. They teased it a little bit because they were teasing a new, uh, they were actually talking about a new little eatering place right here. They're going to have a new booth here with some food in it that's going to be overlook Fireman's Landing. Um, that's supposed to open for pumpkins, uh, so that would be kind of cool. And then they kind of hinted, because people were asking about the, the shops that burned down in pork rinds and stuff, because this is where the pork rinds were, and everyone's missing the pork rinds. So they said they'll have announced, they said pork rind, basically I forgot what exactly what they said in the, the message, but they said uh, pork rinds will be returning soon, but we'll have an announcement uh, or something about, uh, we'll keep you, uh, informed really soon, kind of like a winky face and stuff like that, so they're, they're, they are, um, kind of teased there that the pork rinds stall will return, which will be cool, so. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that would suck if it got canceled, the, the flights. Your Wendell Park's, uh, park is coming out. Great, you can't wait. I can't wait either. Um, hopefully we can. Hopefully we can keep can or continue. With that. So let me get a reference here. There's some really good 360 videos on um, YouTube that just came out from this one uh, guy that's been posting some 360 videos. Um, on Silver Dollar City, and it. it it's kind of, you know, nice because you can kind of look around when he walks down the, um, the paths and stuff. Uh, it's actually really, really useful for, uh, for something like this. So, let's see. I was hoping they'd post a little bit more, but I'll take what I can get. Versus entrance, the blacksmith, that's the one we want. We want to check out the blacksmith shop. Get references for it because uh, I do want to try and get this as close to possible to the, what we see here. Now, again, I'm probably not going to do really many interior work, interiors, or anything like that. It looks like okay, so th there is a little like a little chimney thing here. Let's go ahead and add that. <sighs> Uh, we might we might work on the Wendell Verse Park a little bit. We'll see what we have at time. Everyone's I've had a lot of people saying they want SDC to come back, it's, so it's back by popular demand. Um, so I think I have a piece that uh, we can use this brick piece. This will actually work really well for this. 
and it's going to be kind of like our chimney piece. There's like a little chimney piece that kind of sits up here, um, which looks quite nice. And it's basically just like a little brick piece. That's basically, I don't know, think it's an actual chimney or anything. It's just, it's just kind of like that, basically. Um, so are those like rock textures? Interesting. This is a really weird building. It looks really like, it just kind of sits low. And it's kind of interesting how it works. Okay, so this was a good. This is also a good one for uh, actual blacksmith shop because we can get a good view of kind of the equipment and and stuff that's kind of sitting in here. I'm not. Um, you uh, clear of what's in here. So I was gonna see if maybe we could find some sort of workbench or like uh, something that kind of looks like a workbench of some sorts for. For this Let's see if we type bench when it comes up I know all the benches will come up um, which is not what we're really looking for of course we want uh, maybe if I put table let's let's see what comes up for table I do have a few theme makers toolkit items um, the folding table might actually kind of work if we change those legs to black this is a uh, theme maker's toolkit item, I believe. So we'll keep that in mind. So. I think there are a lot of people that, uh, that are in school. Uh, but it seems like, I, I don't know if it's true for everyone, but it seems like a lot of people uh, a lot of people in the chat were actually homeschooled, most of them. I just kind of want to put a bunch of junk. Um, I think I feel like if we go to um, just go to scenery theme and western, we might be able to find some stuff. Actually, let's go western and pirate. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the pirate stuff that uh, kind of is nice too. Um, I'll just put, like, I'm just gonna put some random stuff, like this cooking frame. You know, just, uh, just a few different things that are just, uh... Even if it doesn't make sense, that's okay. Like, uh, we're not, uh, we're not making too much sense of this. Because, you know, I'm not a blacksmith, so I, I don't know all my, uh, all the pieces that kind of go in these sort of things, really. So, I'm just kind of in the dark a little bit on uh, on how all this stuff goes so I'm just gonna have like a few metal pieces here There's some steel pieces just kind of sitting around we'll have maybe a few of these kind of kind of sitting around I just kind of want to crowd it up a little bit because uh, if you've ever seen it, it definitely kind of looks a little crowded in here just with a lot of uh, equipment and and stuff like that. So again, even if we're not accurate, that's okay. We're just gonna put a lot of stuff and like uh, just junk. We'll just say it's just a lot of junk, you know. Um, so I'm not too concerned if it uh, looks super close. Um, we'll even put a yeah, we'll put an axe in here. That's uh, that's gonna be perfect. Uh, shovel shovel's gonna gonna work well too. Nice shovel. I think there's a door here where they can enter and exit um, this this area. So we might put a quick door over here on the side of the building. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to do this one. So the blacksmith can kind of have a thing. That's nice and... Uh, Looking nice in there a little bit now. I think that's uh, looking pretty good. Just I'm just crowding crowding it up a little bit. You know that's that's kind of the the goal I had here is just to kind of crowd everything up slightly. Okay, I'm just gonna go in here with the wood piece. 
distances. Didn't mean to zoom in there. Um, we're going to give this more of a brown color. Kind of match the rest. And basically what I'm going to do with it is just make it to where that is closed off, basically. Just adding a little detail, you know, even if it's not like 100% accurate, sometimes that's okay. We don't always have to be perfect, perfectly accurate, you know, we can, we can uh, kind of go with what we, what we need to here. Just gonna, just gonna throw some more junk in there, cover stuff up, you know. All right, we have, uh, we can put some, yeah, let's put some horseshoes in here. Just on the tables and stuff, such. Maybe put a little wa little wheel here. A wagon wheel. I just leaned up against here. Big. Think about putting some iron pieces in there, but I'm just crowding it up. Crowd, crowd, crowd. Let's see what else we got here. Throw one of these in here. Change the color so it kind of blends in a bit better. Got about 10 minutes what we're going to work on tonight. So we're basically going to work basically as far as I can down here on Hill Street. But we're trying to get uh, the blacksmith shop a little bit more completed. I guess uh, you could say. Kind of my goal for the most part. I want to get this uh, kind of in a more completed state. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and change the terrain here. It needs to be more, it's kind of like wood chips. So usually I like to use the dry grass for that quite a bit. I think the dry grass actually works good to make kind of have that wood chip feel. And maybe have a little bit of mixture of dirt in there as well. Kind of give that, that coloring, coloration that we want. Which, that kind of looks nice and good. Okay, that can remain. We're going to leave that as the uh, tarmac there. Back in with a little bit of dry grass. And that's looking pretty nice, actually. Pretty happy with that. That's looking good. Now, there are some signs that are just kind of sitting up over here. So, um, I think I might actually get rid of these because there are some, like, things with some, some signs. So, I kind of wanted the signs to be kind of prominent over here a little bit. Uh, maybe the best thing right there, but um, let's uh, let's get our roof, that kind of the roofing that we need a little established over here. I kind of like a little angle, slightly angled, but um, not not very. Just, just the slightest angle right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna rep replicate that. I'm doing great tonight, Coaster Gnome. Thanks for asking. Put Shrek in the blacksmith. He's already buried at the Fireman Cemetery. <laughs> why do we need him uh, in the, the blacksmith as well? I'm just curious why. I still want to know the obsession with Shrek. Uh, I still still asking that question. <laughs> All right, 
right, let's just kind of, uh, needs to be everywhere. But why? I don't have an obsession. Well, what do you call it, then? I'm just genuinely curious. <clears throat> uh, what's up with the, the Shrek thing? That's all. Okay, so we're going to split this from the building and just kind of rotate it to where it kind of fits with this a little bit. Um, if we run out of stuff to work on, I think we can easily uh, work on uh, Thunderation supports. That's always a, a thing to do to, to kind of work on. I'm not very familiar with the blacksmith shop, so um, hopefully I'm not doing horrible at it when it comes to, like, accuracy of, um, of these buildings. Because uh, I don't know the mo that much about it. So that's actually that building right there. I think what we can do here is just kind of put a fence up. Um, I think that will be the best thing here. Just kind of put a fence up here. So we're going to go here. And just get the wooden fence. Just the, the generic wooden fence. And game fence here. Uh, we're going to color it a bit of a darker brown. It'll just kind of separate everything from each other. Just kind of like so. Um, we need to see if we can put some signs up over here. Sign, sign, signs. Alright, I actually saw a piece that I want to put in here still too. From Western and Pirate Anvil. Like, this obviously makes sense. All right. Should I put an anchor somewhere? <clears throat> I think that looks pretty crowded enough. What we want there. <clears throat> now, yeah, we just need to we need to put a thing up here. Uh, I think what we're just gonna do here, kind of keep it hopefully hopefully simple, is we're just gonna go. With some here, make it darker, and just kind of build the, the thing, the structure that I want here, um, which I'm not entirely sure what it is, but we're going to try and replicate whatever this is. Basically, it, basically it's kind of, kind of looks like some sort of workbench, and then at the end of the workbench, it's got some signs hanging from it. They like to, they do make some signs and stuff here. And such, so. Alright, so if we go to scenery, we go to, um,. Actually, we'll go to building, wall signs, theme signs. Um, it's mostly metal signs, kind of like this. Maybe we'll put a, a blue one in there. There are also red ones. Um, I'd like, I wish they had this sign, but small. It would be perfect. But since they don't, uh, we're actually going to go, I think, 
heart shapes. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Do YouTube pay you yet? Uh, I, I, I do have monetized videos, yes. I am monetized. I've been monetized before you had to have a... Th I was actually monetized before they made it to where um, you had to have a thousand subs. So uh, I was actually monetized even before then. Uh, I have to donate to you to start a new park series where everything is themed to Shrek. <laughs> I, I don't know. Are you sure? You, are you sure you don't have an obsession? Well, I still think you do. I just want to make sure. So, yeah, a few signs here. Um, I might even put in some, uh... It's actually, like, a pallet up here. That, uh, that we can kind of put in. Might be able to find a few toolkit items, too. Who's Mike Myers? <laughs> you don't even know who Mike Myers is, and you're that obsession over Shrek? You don't know who Mike Myers is. I hope I hope that's a, a joke, and you actually do know him, who it is. So, not the not the different cult ones right there. I think that'd be a good thing to throw in there. <clears throat> a chrome trim. This will actually be nice for, for stuff in here too. I'm just kind of still throwing some more junk in there, you know. Go back here. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. So uh, I played with Derek on the uh, new Fall Guys uh, season. It was pretty fun. So hopefully uh, he'll be on again tonight. But what is today? Today's Friday. Yeah, today's Friday. Sometimes I forget the days of the week. Sometimes. I just kind of want to add just a pinch of detail here. So we don't look too bland. Uh, and that uh, we're getting something going here. How much do they pay me a month? Uh, I, I earn some ad revenue, and it just really depends. Sometimes I'll have a really good month, and then sometimes uh, it kind of takes a step back. Uh, I don't want to disclose exactly how much I make. Uh, again, it does kind of vary from month to month. Uh, I, I will say I did really well last month. It's probably one of the best months I've ever had on YouTube. Of course, I was super active. The more active you are, um, it does seem to help a lot. So... Um, but yeah, it really does just kind of vary, and with all the overwhelming support, it's actually been doing real pretty good, pretty solid. I mean, I don't make enough to, like, obviously make a living. It's just a nice little bit of side cash at this point, uh, if that kind of makes sense. Because <laughs> honestly, if I could be making a living just uh, uh, giving you guys this awesome content, then I totally would do it. Uh, I really would. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be a dream job, you know? Because I've, I've I've been enjoying uh, streaming and uh, making content for you guys so much lately. Like it's been it's been so much fun, so much fun. It's 
Since I know who Mike Myers is, will you make a Shrek theme park? I'll pay you fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. How how detailed does it need to be? Can it be pretty small? <laughs> just I'm just curious. Again, we're just kind of throwing some junk in here, kind of populating the area with some stuff. Like, again, even if it's not there in real life, I, th I still think it's nice. I just think it makes it look a little more authentic. There's a lot of stuff. Just Shrek. <laughs> All right, I think that's going to be pretty good for that there. Now, let's check in on this building. I might want to add just a, a bit more over here. Might just add a few crates and, and barrels and call it good, because that's classic SDC theming right there in, in a nutshell. As long as you have a, plenty of crates and barrels, it's uh, it's definitely SDC approved. You know what I'm saying? That's all you need, crates and barrels. All right, let's see what we have here. Antique plunger. Oh yeah, there's a wash tub. We could uh, we could have been using that too. It's a good item to kind of crab this up with. We're going to get these, these crates in. Just place some crates in here. Because, uh, honestly, that's uh, that's what Silver Dollar City is all about, them crates and barrels. So, um, as long as we have those in there, we're, we're pretty good. We're pretty stocked. Stocked up. So... You know, they, uh, they add a little bit of, uh, detail. You know, that's, uh, that's what they do. Add some detailing for, uh, this area. It, you know, even if it's, uh, messy looking, it's still detail. Yeah, we're just gonna hopefully just make this all look nice and nice, nice and nice, nice and well. I think that is actually looking pretty solid right there uh, for the blacksmith area. Uh, as for the funnel cakes, what did I put in here? I just put some sugary emporiums. Okay, that makes sense. We're gonna ask your cousins if they want to buy anti-trim shirts and come to the me with SDC. Uh, but they hate talking about coasters, so they they wouldn't listen to me explaining what trims are. <laughs> that sounds that sounds about right. See, th this is the only place I can get away where I can actually talk about coasters and nerd out with others, because I'm like, literally, all my friends that I do have in real life, like my, uh, you know, real life friends, you know, you guys are all my friends, of course, as well, but, like, 
people that I know personally in real life. Um, they, uh, none of them, uh, none of them like coast or no, none of them are coaster enthusiasts. They like coasters, but they're not coaster enthusiasts. You know, I, I annoy them all the time with all my, uh, coaster talk. So <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, I get a lot of, uh, I do feel like I get a lot of, um, That, that just act like they're listening, but I don't think they really are. They're just trying not to, you know, you know, they're just trying to be kind and allowing me to talk to them, you know. Because I'll get into, like, uh, training in the op booth when I train some people in the op booth sometimes at uh, Silver Dollar City at Outlaw Run. Um, they kind of uh, kind of roll their eyes a little bit. At light. They don't physically do it, but I can see it. Uh, because I, I'll sit in there. It's a 10-hour sign-off, so after I show them what to do, I just kind of sit there and watch them and kind of supervise what they're doing, or supervise them for a little bit. And uh, that's all I do. And uh, I'll, I'll get up there and start talking about coasters all the time. Um, and <laughs> I'll even ask them, I was like, what's the best coaster you've been on, you know, trying to get uh, figure out what their number one is. Um, and if you've ever heard of GP... Um, people's talk about their number one coasters and such. It's it's pretty cringy sometimes. You know, I, I'm not a, I'm, I don't judge too much, but GP's number ones are way different than most enthusiasts. Uh, that I'll just put it that way. Which which makes sense. You know, a lot of the a lot of them don't like the intense rides like a lot of us enthusiasts do. You know, they like more. They like more of the fun rides, like, for instance, probably the the park favorite at Silver Dollar City when it comes to the general public is Time Traveler over Outlaw Run, for sure. But all the enthusiasts like Outlaw Run. There are some enthusiasts that like uh, Time Traveler better. There's not many, though. Not, not a whole, whole lot. So... Wife gets annoyed. Yeah, same here. Well, I don't think she gets annoyed, but uh, she just calls me a nerd. You know, I, I just heard her step outside the door, so hopefully uh, she probably just heard me yell that. Now, she loves parks and coasters, too, and... Obviously, I have the biggest love for him, but in the household. But that's why I appreciate you guys cuz uh we can all nerd out together. You know, that's uh that's the that's the beauty of it. We can just uh we can all nerd out together. Alright, so this is kind of like a big gate right here, so we're going to get that in here. Um, let's go ahead and edit. I think we're already editing the building. Oh, cool beans. Alright, let's go ahead and find a wood piece. Oh, I'm always in the wrong thing. That always seems to happen. So this is kind of the entryway to a backstage area. That leads to the employee lounge, and um, yes, does do have access to this road, but uh, it's only for first aid. There's a first aid building right there as well. Uh, Silverwood, Silverwood would be a cool one to uh, to visit for sure. I would love to visit Silverwood myself. That'd be fun. All right, I'm just gonna kind of go right there because I don't know exactly from this. Change how far back that goes. Not going too far, but and then we 
have the Browns candy sign right there kind of blocking up that. And then we have a little sign here that does say, that points over here saying, hey, this is first aid. I don't know if I have a smaller sign for this. That's the one thing that uh, you need to work on is having smaller signs in playing a coaster, you know? Oops. It's okay. After you've ridden enough coasters like I have, the, the stomach dropping part really does kind of non-existent, to be honest. Obviously, the first first time you're riding stuff, you're probably going to feel it a few times, but just work your way up. Do some smaller rides that aren't going to get your stomach, you know? Uh, start off on some of those family coasters that are literally just there for funds. You don't have to... Uh, start out on big coasters, you know, that's the, the best thing is just kind of start yourself out small um, I started out pretty small I started on Thunderation. That was my first um, Real co or that's my first coaster. I really ridden. It doesn't really get your stomach at all or anything. It's a uh, You know, it's not like a it doesn't have any huge drops, you know, it has a kind of a bigger drop at the end It but it's not like huge or anything so Like, just, just find those coasters that are not super overly thrilling, you know? And start out on those. That's what I would say. Um, if you are uh, a little bit terrified on, or a little scared on uh, uh, getting on your first one, you know? Um, but after you get on that first one, uh, the rest of them are cake. You'll, uh, you know, that's just how it works. You know, and then I, I I remember making my first steps when I was because I, I was a kid, uh, and when I I would make those first steps of um, getting on my first coaster, and then I made a bigger step going on a bigger coaster afterwards. Um, you know, it really does help uh, starting on those smaller rides. Oh, okay, there is a stairway here that we have to build. I don't know if we have uh, any pieces that uh, are good for this or if we're going to have to make it all custom. I hope we don't have to make it custom. We might have to. We'll start off with wood. We're going to start with a platform up here. Small. It sounded kind of small like that. Uh, and then we're going to have to probably just go into the toolkit items. So it won't be as hard. As, uh, I was thinking this is kind of not too bad, actually. We just... Uh, the small pieces here, probably two by ten, probably the best, and then uh, we'll just make some simple, uh, simple stairway going down here. That step a little bit bigger. So we, don't, uh, we don't have limited space of where we're going here, so we don't want to overdo that. Don't want to go too far with our steps here because we have 
to get down there fairly quickly. eyeball it <laughs> doesn't have to be like super perfect but just as long as we're pretty close so all right that should be good enough for that stairway and now we have to do the fun part another fun part here oh dang these have to be like exact these last two have to that exact length. Can't cheat out on them. Alright, we're gonna pull this out. Yeah, see, the best way of doing this is just going in here. Um, these need to be a different color, though. Go a little more yellow. All right, sorry if I'm getting behind on chat. That's just typical me. Like I, 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 I like I love fall. I always try to stay up with chat, but at the same time, I do want to make progress. You know, I feel like I get lost in chat sometimes and don't end up making progress on, on this. But I really want to make progress. I really do. Ah. Uh. Ghost Rider is the one you got into, sweet rock and roller coaster. It was the one that broke your fear, Silas. Cool. I know someone said something about drop towers. I don't like drop towers. Which is fine. Understandable. You know, I find there's so many more rides out there that I find more terrifying than coasters. Way more. I, I don't know if you guys have been on like a sky coaster before, like the little cables. You know, you're just kind of being held on. Uh, I've been on one of those, and I was a lot more scared of those than I was uh, than riding coasters. I just feel like on coasters, I just know they're super safe, so like I have no problem with any coasters. There's never, there's never really been a coaster I've gotten on um, that I've really been scared of, at least in recent memory, because obviously. Uh, probably the last time is when I was first riding coasters for the first time. Like, even when I went to Cedar Point for the first time, I'm just like, man, these are some of the biggest coasters I've ever been on, you know? Uh, this is the first time I got to ride really big coasters. Uh, <clears throat> like, you know, two, three hundred feet, you know? The, the biggest coaster I'd been on before that trip was uh, Mamba at Worlds of Fun at 205 feet. That was the tallest coaster I'd ever ridden. Um, so, I was excited when I finally got to Cedar Point, Kings Island and Cedar Point for the first time, because I finally got to ride even bit the biggest of the biggest rides out there so which is what i was excited for because i was ready i was like i was seeking for bigger thrills then you know <clears throat> all right we're gonna go two by four we're gonna make a railing here custom railing There. And there's just one there, and then we're gonna have a corner piece. That connects everything. Might make it a, a thicker beam. We go two by six. Stupid diagonal thing. Don't need that, man. Uh, 
Okay, so we'll get this to here, and then we're going to need to do the angled. Ah, uh, Velocicoaster. I can't wait till Epic Universe opens. I think I'm going to go to Epic Universe opening year. Um, maybe not like the week it opens or anything like that, but like soon after, like fairly recently after it opens. Because man, I'm so excited for that park. Epic Universe looks like it's going to be insanely awesome. So, I'm super pumped for it. Okay, so just some simple railings there. It doesn't have to be super... Super duper. If that makes sense. <laughs> doesn't have to be super duper. All right, Silas, have a, have a good night if you don't uh, end up coming back. But in Hagrid's Magic, we're going to venture into Hogwarts Legacy. Well, at least the ruins from the ride. Really? That's so cool. I didn't actually see that. No. Where did you see that information? That's actually really cool. That makes me even more excited. It's such a small thing, but like... That makes me even more excited. I'm so freaking excited for that game. I'm probably going to be just playing it non-stop for, uh, for quite a while. <laughs> like, I, I can't maintain my excitement <laughs> for that game. Okay, so I need to build this fence. That and it, it's the fence that connects from this building to the truss bridge. Which I think I can get away with copy and pasting another fence that I've already established. And that is this one. Because it looks very much like this fence. We're just going to reduce, reuse, and recycle. No problem with doing that. There we go. Except this one's gray. So we're just going to recolor it. And I think it will be beautifully fine. It'll look just perfect. Okay, where do we want this to end up? There is that part of building that goes around here. Get that, and we need this to. Basically, we need this fence to be lined up with this building. Because it's gonna... It needs to go about right there. So we just gotta line this up with the truss bridge. Let's get more... There. Yeah, right here. Right here. That's the spot. Alright, we're going to change everything to gray. Have like a gray color. And we're going to continue. Until we get to the jewelry. I think this is a jeweler's building. I don't go, I don't shop at Silver Art City very often, so. <sighs> I pre ordered it on Steam. Um, I really want the ps5 version too so i like i i could potentially get the game twice but i'm unsure um i'm a little worried at the same time because the pc version is cheaper than the um like playstation 5 and xbox series x slash s editions it's got me a little bit worried because i'm like I don't want to miss out on anything, and I know that there's an exclusive quest in the PS5 version. The only, the main, the main thing I'm kind of worried about is that there's like some next gen features that I'm gonna miss out being on PC. I hope they're not pulling like a Madden or an EA Sports thing or EA 
thing where they only put the next gen version they don't put the next gen stuff on um they don't end up putting the next gen stuff on P the pc version which honestly should be there like you should always put the next gen stuff on pc versions of the games like that what doesn't make sense like it's the most powerful thing you can have so i don't think I'm missing out on anything by getting the PC edition. Except for the exclusive quest on uh, on PlayStation. Which actually looks pretty freaking cool, honestly. Like, I thought it wasn't going to be that big. But they announced that, or they, they did that little trailer announcement after I had already bought it. So now I'm kind of like... But uh, then again, I want to crank... Uh, on my PC, we'll be able to probably run the game better than any console out there. Because I have crazy specs, so. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of just waiting it out, because there's still a long ways before the game comes out. We still have plenty of time to kind of, uh, you know, that's... But we'll see. I'm excited regardless. Uh, yeah, Xbox doesn't have anything special, but I'm just curious if like the next gen consoles get any like any advancements and stuff just because they're next gen consoles. I feel like they always forget about PC on games, like, sometimes. And it kind of annoys me a little bit, because my PC could run a lot better than what my consoles can. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I know PlayStation has the deal for marketing, so I get it, but I just... Exclusive stuff kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, in a sense, so... But I get that, got that that they probably made a bit of money from PlayStation, just to include that. Why don't I have... Why am I not selecting those as well? Ball guys, you will get more viewers. How? I never get more viewers for Fall Guys. In fact, that's usually when I get the least amount of viewers is when I stream Fall Guys. I just play Fall Guys on stream just for fun. <laughs> of course, I play Plant Coaster for fun too, but. Like, that's just my chilling, my chill game, kind of like just having fun. So, <laughs> we're working on, uh, we're in Valley Road right now, just right before the Trust Bridge uh, and everything on Silver Dollar, the Silver Dollar City Recreation here. So, just kind of working our way down here. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a trash barrel here. I wish we could recolor these because the trash barrels in. Um, and plant or and uh, the real one, the real one, you know, is um, are kind of like that dark color, like a gray, dark gray. Hmm. When is my goal to get this park done? As soon as possible. I don't really have a, a goal, you know. Would I like to get it done soon? Of course. I just don't know when. My goal was about... Uh, my goal to get this park done was probably like three years ago. That was my goal to finish it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's where about where we're at now. Uh, the goal was, uh, was, was long, long, long ago. I'll just put it that way. Uh, it had passed already for, for some time. <laughs> it's 
like this one's the best one for this, but it would go for that uh, dark color. It's actually more on the brown side, so I should probably go like, yeah, like that. All guys is popular and lots of people like playing with YouTubers. Uh, I, I know, but I, I stream it all the time. But it's when I usually get the least amount of viewers is when I'm playing Fall Guys. That's my point. I, I've done it before. I know. Uh, I, don't, I typically don't get that many viewers for Fall Guys. <laughs> I can get up to 60 viewers. I, I, uh, I could, but I definitely won't. <laughs> I'll get uh, usually around 10, maybe. You know, uh, for the people that stick around after uh, I finish playing Planet Coaster. Yeah, I know. Uh, I played the new season last night. It's pretty fun, so. For this auto save, it's pretty rough because Sword RC is kind of a rough save here. I don't think my channel's big enough to get that 60 viewers on a stream just yet, but... I mean, I haven't monitored how many's in here right now. Probably close to 20. Usually we get around 20 during 15 to 20. We have 15 right now. So thank you guys for being here. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we'll, uh, I'll have any space in Fall Guys. We'll see. Uh, I'll probably be playing with Derek later, so, um, I usually play with him. Uh, he hasn't even started live streaming yet, and he'll probably, probably won't do Fall Guys until, like, uh, 11 or so, usually, 11 p.m. Central. Um, he'll probably be live in about, uh, a little over 30 minutes. Typically, he goes live at 9.30 around there. I want to stream like two hours ago. Um, I would love to, but there's this thing called work uh, that uh, unfortunately I have to do to, to be able to pay the bills. <laughs> uh, but I did, we started, we started streaming an hour ago, so that's close. <laughs> I have to stream late. <laughs> I have to work. Otherwise, I don't get internet, and if I don't have internet, I can't stream to you guys. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, I gotta work around my schedule. <laughs> That's the only way I can, can make it happen. Uh, I wish I could do more, but... All right, there's a lot of trees here, so we're just going to put a lot of foliage to kind of cover all this up. Boom, boom, boom. Find the best trees we can use here. Reason foliage. I'm just gonna set these in here. Rare finds. Uh, I have seen City Skylands. I actually have played it, so um, it is pretty cool. It's basically uh, uh, the city builder that ended up doing a lot better than the than Sim City. Uh, what was it Sim? Uh, they did a Sim City, and like uh, I know uh, a lot of people are disappointed by that. And then City Skylines came out, and a lot of people think 
it was way superior, ended up being a lot more superior uh, overall, so... See if the audio still plays here. I had the the horse sounds playing here. This should go off any minute, any moment. Like I like a lot of sim sim games, but theme parks are definitely my favorite ones by far. There it is. I have the sound effect. Such a cool sound effect to actually have in here. Okay, I would almost say this little square, this little spot right here is basically done for the most part obviously I had like these shops in here but I think I'm just gonna close them up I'm not gonna do interiors so oh the creepy uh, statue guy in the, the booth I haven't even made the toll booth yet uh, let me see if I can get a good reference of it walk by it here in this 360 video so I it's pretty small um, let's see if we can uh, do something here probably gonna have to make it custom because of how small it is so let's see if we can get a, a the glass pieces here because we're gonna want to make it see-through and glass are these theme makers still good items Highlighted blue. Those two are, anyways. Need a really small one. This one should be small enough. Okay. And I'm probably just gonna have to use the these pieces because. Over sparks, pretty much done. Nice. That's awesome to hear. Uh, actually, let's make the... Uh, actually, no. What we're going to want to do here... Let's go 2 meter. Got to establish where that window is going to be. And we can adjust the heights on this pretty pretty easily, I think, so. Pretty small window, so we're going to round it a little bit here. Another one in here that should be about where we want it uh, let's go ahead and for the person in here we're gonna put the staff member I think from the toolkit items but the best is because there's not there's not much out there we can use skin tone a little bit darker here gonna be wearing a black shirt because he kind of looks more like a has that conductor feel to him 
I like what the train train people wear. We're gonna keep him stationary because he's not actually an animatronic. He just kind of stands there. Uh, I'm gonna lower this down just a bit. It's a little too high. Didn't mean to have him selected too. But... There we go. Want a, a hex terrestrial and fall guys? Nice. I can't wait to get into the game later uh, and play more of the new season because I didn't get to play. We didn't play much last night, so. Be uh, excited to play some more of it. Had the bridge sound effects. Well, uh, if you could, hopefully you were able to hear that right there. That it uh, actually is playing already. So I don't know if you could hear it, but uh, I already have it. I actually went in and uh, uh, it was a while, long while ago, of course. Um, but uh, I went in and actually recorded it with my my phone one day and uh, erased background the, the background noise to make it nice and clear and it actually turned out really well pretty nice I think I think it turned out great Which is going to be interesting because it's got to be custom because of how small this is. So, have to add a little, try and add a bit of detail as we go along here. cheat a little bit here. It's not really cheating, but um, I'll just go in here and find. just to fill in those gaps. Side as well, that side doesn't matter as much because it won't be really visible. Oh, but yes, yeah, Branson, Missouri. Nice old charming park. I'm there every day. Someone's got to run outlaw run, right?
need a proof here. Two by six. By six. Continue to use this piece. Added. Like they're excited at first for something. Ooh, oh, and they sounded disappointed uh, afterwards. <laughs> AI is really good. Honestly, one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best parks out there. Really is, uh... It's just a very complete park, I feel. Very complete. That's the best way I would describe it, I think. It kind of has everything you would want. There we go. Ryan isn't really a good coaster. I think it's a great coaster. I don't think it's the best coaster there, obviously, but I think it's a great coaster. I don't think it's bad. Or anything. I have a fun time on it. I think Diamond's back. I, I do think Diamondback's better, but... I still would consider it a good coaster, though. Just a repeat of Diamondback? I wouldn't say it's a repeat. Because I think Diamondback's just better anyways. Because <laughs> honestly, like, any park that has a B&M Hyper or Giga would just be a repeat if that were the case. But Yeah, I'm curious of what they're going to replace Vortex with myself. I hope it's good. Need an RMC. I don't know if uh, Cedar Fair is going to work with RMC again. Anytime soon, anyways. It'd be nice if they did. Alright. My favorite part. Underation custom supports. Uh, the more we do it, the quicker it'll be done, right? Got two in between each main support. Uh, 
da. I still think it's cool that uh, Silver Dollar City knows I'm building this uh, recreation. Pretty cool feeling, actually. That uh, they commented on, commented on my last episode that I posted. Once we get done with this helix, I think everything will be uh, a little bit easier when it comes to custom supporting this thing. Ah, fall guys! Some people call Thunderation rough. I really don't think it's that rough. You know, I have a high... I guess I may just have a high tolerance when it comes to, you know, rickety rides and rougher rides, I guess. But there's very few coasters I even consider rough, um, to be honest. And Thunderation's not one of them. I actually think it's fairly smooth. For being an old arrow coaster. Well, it's not like an old arrow coaster. I mean, it was built in the 90s, so. And a lot of people do consider it to be the best mine train out there. And it really is. This helix section is actually probably the best part of the ride, in my opinion. When you go into the tunnel. Um, as long as the rough spot, there is a, there is a rough spot in the tunnel that they've been having issues with. Uh, I haven't, I don't think I've ridden Thunderation this year, uh, but there was one year, a couple years ago, where that rough spot got really bad, and they fixed it for the most part. But uh, I don't know if it's still there or not, in any way, shape, or form. But I think it, uh, I think people say it's more rough than what it actually is, you know. <clears throat> and I think it's still really cool that you just go all the way down the hillside before you even get to the lift hill. Such a unique part of the ride is you just keep building up speed, building up speed, building up speed until you're at the bottom of the hill. Um, so that's, to me, really uh, one of the really cool things about Thunderation. I think it's for sure underrated for the most part. Um, most people do call it the best mine train, but some, a lot of people don't call it a great ride. I still think it's a really good ride uh, for, for what it is. It's just surrounded... Just the other coasters in Silver Dollar City are just better, you know. I don't, I don't really think SDC has a, honestly, a bad ride. Which uh, I think is always a good thing to say. Uh, if you, if you have a, a park and everything, if you can say your park doesn't even have a bad ride, you know. I don't know if I could say it. There is, there's not really a bad ride in the park.
There's no ride at Sword Art City that I'd go, oh, I'm not gonna ride that anytime soon again. <laughs> like, if I go to Sword Art City, I'm at least riding Thunderation once, at the least. You know, if you're visiting as a guest, that's usually what I do. Time Traveler, you're gonna ride multiple times if possible. Outlaw Runner, you're gonna ride multiple times if possible. Wildfire, Powder Keg. As long as the crowds are not the worst. Honestly, they have been very slow this last few weeks, so. <laughs> Since pumpkins hasn't started yet. Pumpkins on weekdays? Go on a weekday, man. They, it's not even, pumpkins isn't that, doesn't really get that busy except for the weekends, so. People think Thunderation is going to be next on the chopping block for Silver Dollar City, but honestly, uh, working at the park, there's been no rumor of it actually going anywhere. So uh, I think it still has quite some time still left in the park. Um, I think it will get the axe eventually, um, but uh, I don't think it's going to be within the next five to ten years or anything like that. I think it still has maybe another decade or so for it um, until we start maybe hearing rumors. But uh, there's just there's not really any rumors of it uh, at all going away. Uh, the only one I've really heard that's probably next is going to be Flooded Mine. Um, is probably going to be the next one they either renovate or um, uh, completely tear out. But uh, I know it's a very popular classic. Um, so, I feel like if they did anything, they would just renovate it. Uh, uh kind of like, when I say renovate, I mean probably, like, axe the entire thing and then do something similar in its place. Kind of like Lost River and Mystic. You know, we've been seeing a lot of that. They've been kind of renovating their older rides, and we're seeing it with Fire in the Hole. We saw it with Lost River, uh, and I think, I do think, uh... Flood of Mine will be next, because it is basically the oldest ride on park besides the steam train. You know, it, was, it opened in 68. It's been there since 1968. And it's, uh, a lot of the effects don't work anymore, and uh, a lot of the guns that you shoot with don't really work anymore. I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've ridden it, try to beat my high score, and my gun just resets mid-ride. I'm just like, come on, man, I was doing good. But we might step in. I haven't actually worked on the Windleverse Park in a hot minute. You know, it's been quite a few days, so we might hop in there for a bit before we go to Fall Guys as well. Uh, but I definitely want to just get a little work. It uh, put in some work here on uh, Silver Dollar City a little bit, you know. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take me as long to get back to it. I say that every time, but. Who's thinking about streaming tonight, J Trains? Have you ever streamed before? Have you, have you? As far as Thunderation leaves, I'm gonna be very, pretty angry. I mean, with Arrow not being around anymore, I mean, it's bound to happen at some point. Um, we're seeing a lot of Arrow coasters get the axe lately, so. Um. I think Thunderation could be around for at least 10 more years, maybe. But I think it is going to be on the chopping block soon. Again, there's no rumors of it going anywhere. You know, so no need to worry about it yet, but... But man, imagine the possibilities of what it could get replaced with. That's my, my thought. You know, I know a lot of people get upset when a classic ride goes, gets, uh, gets removed or something. But sometimes the replacements are just so much better. Overall, you know. Go in here and extend these supports a little bit. Or adjust the, the terrain. I might just do the terrain because it might be a little easier. Uh, to adjust that instead. I 
will say, uh, Thunderation's got a really loud, uh, lift hill. But Como Retrack and Thunderation, I don't think that would happen. I think they would scrap it before they would actually just retrack it with Vacoma. But I'm not going to rule that completely out because Her the Hershans have been working with Vacoma a lot lately. So, um, but I don't think they would retrack it with Vacoma. I don't think so. I think they would scrap it first. I think they would more than likely scrap it and just build something completely new there its place. I think that would be the more likely situation. But, uh, again, it's not happening anytime soon, soon, so if, if at all soon, it might not happen at all, you know. No, I still think Thunderation is a popular ride, and it still is one of those rides at Silver Dollar City that occasionally gets over a million riders in a season. Uh, one of the few ride. It's actually one of the only coasters that can that puts through over a million riders a season. Um, they haven't done it in a couple seasons since 2020. I think the last time they did it was 2018, 2019. But they're always the closest, to always hitting a million riders. And that's because the ride's capacity is so big. You know, they they have uh, it actually has the largest capacity out of any of the coasters in the park. So. Uh, because it has so many, I think they can fit 36 per train with running two trains, so. Yeah, I never got to ride Montezuma's Revenge before. Uh, uh, I actually missed it a little bit. Uh, I actually, I, I, I don't remember when they started renovate or started that renovation. But uh, I went to Knott's and February so I and it was it was already closed at that point I think it closed about a week or so before I got there so I did unfortunately miss out on that but I'm sure it'll be cool Just for sake of thunderation, here we go. Thunderation. Last week of January, and I went there early February, so I just missed uh, the original Montezuma's Revenge. I never actually got to ride it, so that was one coaster credit I had to miss out on. I'm sure I'll be back at Knott's at some day, someday, but don't know how soon. I'm sure I'll get back out to California at some point. And I would, I want Planet Coaster to have the uh, extreme spinning coaster so bad. I want it so bad. I love how I purposely make the track slightly janky for my my aero coasters. I do that on purpose. Yeah, I would say it's still the same, uh, unless the ride changes drastically, I think it still counts as the same credit. Uh, that's, in, in my opinion, it would as well, so. so far away. It's true. Everything is pretty far away. 
get some good parks in here, but there's just so much so far away. Basically, I purposely made the ride kind of janky and not super smooth because, you know, that's how these old aero coasters are because they're not, like, perfectly profiled because, you know, they didn't have computer-aided design back then. I was mainly just, uh, measuring. <laughs> we got the soundtrack. could potentially post it on there. I think it'd be kind of nice. I did post uh, uh, the Fire in the Hole soundtrack, the full song. Thankfully, I was uh, fortunate enough to have have the full soundtrack to that. Now, it's not perfect, but... I think it turned out I think it turned out really good for the most part. It has some background noise to it because uh, I was recording it with my phone. But I think it actually turned out fairly good. I think I don't think they have the rights to sell it and that's why they don't sell it they only have the right to play it I think there's two different things there I'm pretty sure I don't know for sure but they had the sound custom made by some some sort of group custom made it for them they put them all all the songs they wanted them to do covers of and it could be because the reason why they can't sell is because these are all songs that are licensed songs you know like copyright and and all that fun stuff they might not have the rights to sell those because they're covers of other songs maybe i don't know i i'm no expert in all that stuff so this is clocks by coldplay one of my favorites on that soundtrack it was a really cool idea though for the soundtrack that they came up with i think of course, we have Fire in the Hole soundtrack that plays over here. Probably should relocate these uh, speakers so they're not just speak or just floating in midair. I think you can do covers on YouTube. You just probably can't make money off of them um, unless you get permission uh, from the, the ones that actually own the song. Or, like, you gotta get uh, in contact with the ones that own the song and stuff. Yep. I don't know how all the legal stuff works, really, but... It's such a dark song, though. <laughs> Fire in the Hole is such a dark theme. Of course, we got powder keg. So I'll have this guy for when I make the POV, cinematic POV. Thank you. 
inside the train at all times. Hi. That area is restricted. Smell smoke. Um, the spike is only for rollbacks, so... It would be kind of cool if they had, like, a reverse launch and then it goes back in the launch. That would be kind of a neat, uh, feature. But back, back when they did build it, you didn't really see coasters do that, so... If it, like, launched backwards first and then if it went back through and then came through the, the launch again... And I'm I'm very proud of these custom supports though. They turned out so good. I even made the powder or the powder keg supports slightly different from the bus soft falls because they're a slightly different shade on the color in real life, so I made sure of that. Problem is, I don't know if it would, would really be a problem. Is the transfer track where it uh, latches in place? Um, I don't know if there'd be uh, an issue when it ro flies through that really fast, but maybe not. Probably not. I'm sure. It's fine. But... And wildfire. I love this, this audio here. Yes, we'll do a POV. That's a B&M lift audio. Um, I feel like an air launch would have to be from a dead stop, honestly, but who, how, who, how, what do I know? Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. And left ASMR. <laughs> Look at those beautiful trim brakes. Still got to do all the custom supports. I only did the uh, the lift hill so far and the custom supports for this. So. <clears throat> got those beautiful uh, trims right there and beautiful trims over here. Wildfire's got two sets of trims. It's two sets of trims. I don't think they kick on very often though. They only kick on if needed. So like if the train only if the train's rolling too fast. Like, even when they do trigger, it doesn't feel like it really slows the train down. At least I never felt any difference. I think they're just kind of there, just in case. Steam rattle doesn't exist. I've never really noticed a rattle on, like, a rattle on a b and M. I'm kind of there with you. I've never really experienced a B&M where I got off thinking it was, like, rough or anything. You know, like Rougarou, like people think Rougarou is like rough and stuff. I've never understood that. I thought it was perfectly fine. I thought it was gr nice and smooth like any other b and I've been on. Like, I I like Rougarou. I thought it was fine. Same with like Raptor, Montu, like, I mean, everyone likes Montu, but. Um, and Wildfire is actually really smooth too. Honestly, Wildfire is one of the smoothest BMs still, and it's, you know, over 20 years old now. Man, I can't believe it's over 20 years old. It's crazy. 
Powder keg. Oh, perfect. Diamond back. I never noticed any sort of rattle. Again, I don't know if I'm just have high tolerance when it comes to shakiness or anything on roller coasters. I don't find like any there's like so few coasters that I actually find rough. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Powder Keg has some of the best floater airtime of all time, in my opinion. When you get those SNS Scream and Swing restraints, those first two hills, I don't know if you guys have ever ridden, those first two hills on Powder Keg are crazy floater airtime. You're out of, you're floating in the air for a good two to three seconds. I've smacked a tree on Outlaw Run. I actually shut the ride down because of that. Um, because uh, I noticed how close it was So I, uh, on one ride through. And then my next ride through, I went out and reached out to see if I could hit it. And I was able to hit it, so just slightly. So they had to go up and trim it real quick. Because... <laughs> Yeah, you got SNS Scream and Swing restraints on a roller coaster, which is awesome, and I kind of feel like that should be more of a thing more often, because you get you get some crazy airtime with them. You really do. Scream? It wasn't even rough. <laughs> I thought Scream was just fine. You know, it was a nice little B&M floorless. Screaming swing, screaming swings are some of my, or probably my favorite flat rides, uh, to be honest. <sighs> Fire in the whole POV. All right. If I can find the track real quick, hold on. I think it just went in. Maybe it didn't. Wait for it to come back here. Grab a nice full train, too. Perfect. Yeah, Barn Swings is really good. Get some good airtime on it when you're up on those. You can just feel yourself floating out of the seat. It's pretty awesome. Hmm. Bush Gardens Tampa is getting a screen swing. Are they really? Nice. That'll be awesome. I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> <clears throat> cool, cool. Uh, Falcon's Fury was closed on my last visit, but I did. I have ridden it though. I, I I've been to Bush Gardens Tampa twice. First time I went, I got to ride it. I hate when, all, when the custom audio cuts out. It doesn't always work properly. I didn't know they were getting a screaming swing. That's awesome. That'd be cool for them. This is usually the audio that cuts out. It actually didn't this time. Sweet. <laughs> Put on your pants. The dang bald knobber stole them. Here's a barrel laughs. Uh, 
Uh, what am I getting on Fall Guys? I don't know exactly. We might work on the Windleverse Park for a little bit. Get some uh, stuff done in there. <laughs> I wish I could make that transition better, but it's the best I could honestly do. There's the Kenny Bridge. I'm really hoping for a drop track. I think it's a missed opportunity right here. If they make the Kenny Bridge scene here, and they have a drop track, like a whole scene. Like, you go onto the bridge. I, I want them to keep true to the original, but... Add some mod a modern twist to it. You know what I'm saying? I think it would just be perfect. And it still would be a family ride, but like a family coaster. But like you just go onto the bridge and then it just like collapses because of all the fire. That would just be so cool. I think it's a missed opportunity if they don't do that. It's it was it's been a rumor that it's gonna have a drop track, but RMC is doing it, and I've never seen RMC do a ride like this. I don't know if they're capable of doing a drop track yet, um, since RMC is the rumored manufacturer. Um, it's not rumored; it's basic. It's confirmed. There, it's gonna be RMC, because um, I already know a lot of the guys that visited Idaho. Like some of the supervisors actually went up to Idaho. Um, they didn't tell me where they went, but as soon as they said Idaho is the where they visited, I knew immediately that you know it's RMC. <laughs> Because I think, I think you can still keep true to the original, keep that drop track in there. I know the splashdown is going to be in there. I know that's still confirmed for the final drop. It's going to have a splashdown. I do know that much that the splashdown is going to be in there uh, for the end. That is going to be confir the confirmed because they've already have kind of that made up inside the building. So... It'll be S and S, but built by RMC. I mean, it's possible, but I think it's gonna just be RMC mostly. I hope they do the the new version of it justice. I'm sure they will, but. Oh yeah, they better have the pants line still in there. Uh, I think people would riot if they didn't have the pants scene. Um, you get back in here and put on your pants. Sadie, I ain't got no pants no more. The dang bald knobber stole them. Stole them? I need to hurry up with the recreation because by the time I'm done with it, this is going to be closed. <laughs> Because, I mean, I've already started building the, the new one over here. <laughs> they actually they actually have started on the front facade. They actually started building the structure for the front facade. You know, kind of like uh, how we have the facade here uh, in front of Fire in the Hole. They started building the facade out front. Uh, of the building and it looks like it's gonna be about right here so like uh, it you're gonna have the building over here and then I think the facades gonna be like right here so it's gonna be a little bit different I think but uh, but they got the facade kind of going right here so I think the entrance is gonna be on this side what I think they are gonna do I, I, I think they're just going to have another railroad crossing and it's going to have like its own little section right here entrance. Uh, I think that will be. Um, I think next year is going to be the last year for the OG fire in the hole. I, I think it's a 2024 project from what I've heard uh, and the rumors is that it's going to have a soft. The new one's going to have a soft opening at the end of next year. 
and uh, kind of, and they're both going to be open at the same time for a few months. Uh, from what it sounds like, so you're going to be able to ride the old and new at the same time for a few months. For like a month or two, uh, the way it's sounding. I don't know if that's true, um, but some say it's kind of like a passing of the torch. Uh, so, like, you're going to, for a very short time, you're going to be able to ride the new, old and new one at the same time. Both fire and the holes are going to be open at the same time. I don't know if that will happen, but I think for sure it's going to be a mainly a 2024 attraction. <clears throat> but I think the new one is going to be mile. Or I, I hope they do it right. Uh, they even shipped a train off. Um, they even shipped a train off to uh, the facilities in Idaho so they could model the trains off of the original. So um, from what I hear, it's going to be very close to the original except just updated. Um, I think a drop track would be awesome. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't make it in, but I think a drop track would be. Uh, I don't think it'll have any inversions. I think it's going to be clo almost the same as the original. It's just going to be in a new location. And uh, from the the rumors have it, they're going to bulldoze the old building over. And that they're going to make this a new train station. Uh, that That's the big rumor right now. They'll make a new train station here that can handle the crowds. Because obviously the current train station just isn't really able to handle the crowds, honestly. Um, with how much bigger Silver Dollar City has gotten, and uh, it's more of a bigger destination now. We're getting more and more people each year to the park, uh, attendance-wise, and uh, the the steam train just can't handle the crowds because it doesn't really have a queue line. They have to kind of make their own queue that kind of goes around the park, you know, uh, for it to really work out. You know, it doesn't really have its own queue line, so I think the new one will have its own queue line of some sorts. So I'm going to go ahead and save this up real quick. We're going to manually save it. Um, I think we got some good stuff done today for the time that we were in. I think I actually got more done than I think thought I would, which is good. When we come back, I, I think we're going to work more, of course, on Thunderation supports. And then we're also kind of continue our way down Valley Road on the other side of the Trust Bridge. And just kind of tidy that area up a little more with the, the Christmas shop and everything. Gonna go hang up some Halloween posters. Nice. I actually kept up Halloween decorations for the entire year because I didn't feel like taking them down. And it's really the only time I decorate is for Halloween. So me and Jess, uh, we decided to kind of just leave some of it up. We took some of it down, but like uh, for a lot of the other stuff, we just kind of left up oh, oh, year round. Because <laughs> why not, you know? Why not? Why can't it be Halloween all year? <laughs> Like, why, why, why not? <clears throat> Do Halloween and Christmas. I've never been, like, a huge Christmas guy um, when it comes to, like, uh, I guess the commercialization of it is what I don't like. Um, you get all the... Uh, same music every year it's, uh, it's just kind of annoying uh, at some points there are a lot of christmas songs i do like but for the most part not not all of your typical stuff like they play all the time at every store at you know they played at sword Art city too which sometimes sucks i really like spooky stuff i i've always been a big fan of horror and uh, uh scary stuff o overall i just love creepy music sometimes too it it just, uh, so when I hear those songs and stuff, I really do enjoy those a lot for some reason. Um, you know, who likes joyful stuff? Come on. You know, you gotta like the scary and, and, uh, terrifying stuff, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I do like cheese. Yeah, cheese is, uh, cheese isn't bad. Uh, you're cheesy. Nice. Uh, good to know.
But I think we're going to head over to the, the Windleverse Park for a little bit. Um, is Derek is Derek gone live yet? I'm curious if he's gone live yet. Yes, he has. He has gone live. He's playing some Call of Duty Warzone right now. Um, and we'll, we'll keep checking and see when he goes on to Fall Guys. We might go at the same time. Loses the true spirit with the commercialization. Yeah, I think I like I like uh, Christmas as a whole of what it is, but like I I just don't like uh, all the commercialization stuff. That's just what I, the parts that I don't like. It just gets annoying to me, uh, and I really hate starting Christmas so early. Um, and uh, like Halloween, I don't find I don't mind starting early, but when we start Christmas, literally November first every year, I'm just like, can we at least just wait till December? <laughs> Because I just hate hearing those songs over and over. Um, you know, if you're going to play good songs, play the good ones, you know. Um, one of my favorite Christmas songs, actually, is uh, Carol of the Bells by David Foster. Have you heard that arrangement? Uh, it doesn't have any uh, uh, vocals or, or uh, lyrics or anything. It's literally just uh, instrument. Uh, I don't You may have heard the tra uh, trans... Or was it... Uh, uh, what is it? The orchestra, Trans Siberian Orchestra, is that the one? Um, it's also a really good arrangement. They have a really awesome arrangement too. Um, but they play they play that at uh at the big light lit tree on uh at Silver Dollar City Square. They play that, and it's like the best thing ever. Um, you know the but it's like an epic orchestra version that's just amazing. Uh, that uh, that they do, um, on and they play it at Silver Dollar City uh, when they do the uh, the the tree lighting or it's like a the the tree show basically. <clears throat> but if you've never been to Silver Dollar City during Christmas, you gotta come at some point. Uh, just go into the, just walk around the Midtown area. Holy crap! When they added the the extra million. 1.6 million lights in that area. It looks like it's daytime. That's how bright it is. They start putting up, they literally start putting up uh, Christmas lights starting in like July or June or July, somewhere around there. They start putting the lights up. Like they, they start putting them up throughout summer um, because there's just so many lights throughout the park. I don't even know why they take them down in the off season because they're gonna put them back up in a few months. Like, this just doesn't make sense to me sometimes. Might as well just keep them up the year round <laughs> and just only use them. Uh, we already have all our pumpkin stuff up. It doesn't start till the 21st, but they've been really getting a lot of the pumpkin stuff ready, which is really cool. Outlaw Run's actually gonna look awesome during pumpkins. They have some new lighting that's gonna be going over there. We actually do have some lit pumpkins now over there too, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited for that as well. Um, uh, but Pumpkins is going to be a lot bigger this year, which is cool. Uh, eventually I think it's going to be park-wide, but... <clears throat> I'm excited for it. I don't like the long hours, but it is, a, it is really cool to visit. Christmas folk music. I wonder if you can see SDC from space. Probably. Uh, there will be Fall Guys tonight. Yeah, we'll we'll play Fall Guys. We're gonna we're just hopping into the Windleverse Park for a little bit. Can't say I know many of those songs. How long do you think SDC will go uh, without another coaster after? Fire in the hole, the new fire in the hole. Uh, I I don't think it'll be too long, maybe two to three years, uh, to be honest, um, because it, it kind of counts as a new coaster, but at the same time, you know they get their new. They usually wait two to three years in between big investments, so uh, I think it'll be two to three years, and I think our next big coaster is definitely going to be a family coaster by Vacoma. That's just my prediction, mainly because that's what Dollywood's doing, and. Um, you know, I feel like we could follow those footsteps, especially if Big Bear Mountain is a big time success. I could see them doing it at Silver Dollar City as well. Uh, 
Oh, remember when we did the guest flow test? And uh, had Mr. Johnny Bowser in here? I think that was his name. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Johnny Bowser. Uh, he was a thrill seeker that didn't end up riding anything. He just walked around, sat on some benches, and uh, bought some coffee. That's all he did. I'm I'm right on it on the curb. I'm I'm like a uh, right ahead of I'm I'm ahead of you here. <laughs> the curb that needs to go right here. Because when I do guest flow tests, I don't save it before I do it because I um I don't want to have to get all the guests back out. So. All right, another curb I had to put need to put on was. Oh gosh, what was it? The fountain. The fountain. The fountain doesn't have any curbs around it. And people were walking through here, so. I do need to go in here and. Play some curbs around the fountain here. Basically, we're gonna fix everything that we didn't fix. That we need to fix after observing. Observing the, uh. The guest flow. After that, so. I think that's all good right there. Four chargers. Um, see, I'm a Chiefs fan, so uh, I watched the game last night, and uh, man, it was a uh, it was an interesting one. I I thought I honestly think the ch the Chargers outplayed the Chiefs last night overall, but that pick six is what kind of sealed the deal. So, uh, my gosh, Justin Herbert though. What a tough dude, man. He, uh, glad to hear that his, or I heard that his injury isn't super severe, so hopefully he'll get back soon. Um, I think it was kind of risky of him just to be out there during that. Uh, you know, I, I could have risked further injury, but, uh, he played through it, so. Um, props to him. I do like Justin Herbert quite a bit, you know. The Chiefs are my team, so I'm, I'm a big Patrick Mahomes fan. Uh, but I do like Herbert a lot. Um, out of everyone in the division, I do like the Chargers the most out of, uh, cause I don't like the Broncos and I don't like the Raiders. I actually do kind of like the Chargers, even though being a Chiefs fan, I shouldn't, uh, because they're a division rival, but they're, they're my favorite division rival, I guess you could say. <laughs> the one that I hate, hate the least. <laughs> cause they're, they are the ones that, uh, if anyone takes the AFC West from the Chiefs, it, it's definitely going to be the Chargers. I, I think people overhyped the Broncos and Raiders. I don't think they have a chance of uh, getting the division. It's either going to be the Chiefs or Chargers, to be honest. Chiefs are way overrated? Nah, no they're not. Not overrated, man. Four straight AFC championships? Like, how's that overrated? Holmes is a real deal. He's doing crazy stuff. You're a Bucks fan. Uh, I don't. I don't mind the Bucks. Uh, of course, I did. I didn't. Uh, wasn't a big fan of them during Super Bowl Fifty Five, but. <laughs> Steelers. You think Kenny Pickett will start uh, before the season ends at any point? I think it's just going to be Trubisky. I figured you're a Steelers fan since you're a Kenny Wood fanatic. <laughs> Kennywood is way overrated. Oh, we got a Packers fan in there. Oh boy. <laughs> See, I was I was a Chiefs fan before it was cool. Before they, they had Mahomes. I, I went through those 2-14 and 14 seasons and stuff. You think Pickett will start eventually? I think he will too. I was actually a little surprised that... Uh, I think he's third on the depth chart behind Rudolph. 
Mason Rudolph, which is uh, was kind of surprising to me. I thought he would at least be the second string, but we'll see how it goes. Man, who will make the Super Bowl this year? It's a big question. Um, who do you guys got going? Like, realistically speaking, I know I'm biased towards the Chiefs. <laughs> but uh, realistically speaking, I think we could see... Uh, I think Buffalo might be able to make it this year. I could see Buffalo getting in finally and uh, making a run at the Lombardi this year. Um... I just feel like they've they've gotten close a few times, uh, but I really feel like maybe this might be the year if they can get past the Chiefs in the in the playoffs. You know, that's that's been their big obstacle is the Chiefs. <laughs> uh, as for the NFC, I don't know. I have a feeling it's gonna be the freaking Buccaneers just because it's Tom Br gonna gonna be Tom Brady's last year. He's gonna get them in there some way, somehow. You know, if it's his last season, I think he's gonna get them in there. I just have that feeling. Just, just to be honest, I just have that feeling he's gonna get them in there. It's freaking Tom Brady. I'm not a big Tom Brady fan at all, but I just feel like that's gonna happen. <clears throat> Buffalo versus Green Bay, that could be a good one, for sure. Eagles-Bills. Eagles seem to have a lot of hype this year. I don't know. I don't I don't think the Eagles are going to get very far, but personally, but I don't know where the hype's coming from, but... Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, Josh Allen's really good. I could see the Chargers getting there, too. So, I like, I honestly think it's either going to be Buffalo or, Los, or the Chargers. Have the, the biggest chance, in my opinion. NFC Buffalo or KC, NFC Vikings, Bucks or Saints. Yeah, I don't sleep on the Vikings. I think they're a really good team. I think Kirk Cousins is super underrated. I actually looked at his uh, stats from last season. Dude, he is underrated. He had he actually had a really good year last year. He had like 33, 34 touchdowns to like like seven interceptions. Like, geez. That's actually really good. <laughs> I only knew that because I was drafting for fantasy and I was just like, man. Uh, and I was just kind of looking at last year's stats for each player and I was just like, man, Kirk Cousins. Got no respect. <laughs> Um. Ah. I'm gonna be honest. I think when the Chiefs play the Chargers in Los Angeles, I, I do feel like the Chargers are probably gonna get that win. Maybe. You never know. We might sweep them. I I honestly thought the Chargers were gonna win last night. But everything, the momentum just completely shifted after that pick six that Herbert threw. Like, right at the end zone. That momentum just went bloop. Casey won't make it past the divisional round. 
They've been to the conference championship four years in a row. They've hosted it four years in a row. I don't see why they would stop. Miss Tyreek? Nope. I think we're just fine. They're going to be just fine without him. I think, we, I think we proved that in week one. Plus, we're 2-0 and right now. I was getting tired of people saying, Oh, Patrick Mahomes is only as good because he has Tyreek Hill. And I'm like, bruh. If anything, Patrick Mahomes made Tyreek Hill look good. <laughs> See, the thing is, is I don't think people are knowing what to expect from Kansas City's offense now because they don't have Tyreek Hill. So they might be a little bit different. They're very tight end heavy right now. I find all the theme makers so good items you're using in Planko somewhere. Not really. Literally, the best way to do it is just go through the theme maker's toolkit items and find what you want. Um, I go through the lists all the time, and I just go through pages and pages, you know. I will literally just sit there going through the pages, get everything I want, you know. In fact, I haven't looked in a while. I'll usually just go most recent, and then I just... Uh, the stuff I haven't seen yet. I'll go through the stuff I haven't actually seen yet. Check I'll have a dance partner. Uh, I think there's actually Juju Smith ha Ac Schuster actually had an interview and they asked him about that, and he's just like, "Yeah, absolutely not." <laughs> I just think Patrick's like one of the funnest players to watch, like. That's, that's what I love about Mahomes so much, is he, you, you're not going to have a bad time watching him play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Mahomes is definitely not overrated, dude. He, in some cases, he's been getting underrated lately. Like, there's that one list that had, like, Ryan Tannehill, Jalen Hurts over him and I'm just like are you kidding me that's laughable how ridiculous that 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 sounds hey bro yeah remember last year was a down year for Patrick Mahomes 4,800 yards what do you have 36 37 touchdowns that's a down year a, a down year. Thoughts on Thursday night only being on Amazon. For me, it doesn't really matter because I do. I already have Prime Video, so like it didn't matter to me. But I can understand why that kind of sucks. Like I guess it's not on cable at all, which is like, why? Like I have no way. I don't even have cable, so like I have to really. I have issues finding ways to actually watch the games. So I was actually, yeah, last night was one of the easier games to watch because it was on Prime and I actually have Prime video. So it actually made it easy on me, me personally. But I know that's not the case for everyone that has cable and doesn't have Prime, you know. <sighs> I do think that's kind of ridiculous that it's not on cable. Like, if you have a TV and everything, like, you have to have Prime to watch it. That's kind of stupid. If you already have, like, cable TV or, or anything like Dish or DirecTV, whatever, you don't get access to the game because you have to be have to be on Prime. That is kind of dumb. I, I, I do agree with that. 
Thankfully, I have Prime, so I was able to watch it, no problem. In fact, it was only a few games that I can watch. Because, again, I don't have cable, so... <laughs> I think Chiefs defense has actually played fairly decent this year. So far. In the first two weeks. I mean I mean how much what how much can you do against Justin Herbert? Justin Herbert and the Chargers, I mean they're legit. Like. So the fact that they held in there the, as much as they did, um, I think is a pretty good positive to take away, so. I mean, I guess Prime probably paid the NFL a ton of money, so that's all that matters is the money. So they don't care. <laughs> they get that they get that paycheck from Amazon, so just a scheme to get people more people to do uh, uh to add Prime, you know. That's all it is. The scheme to get the money. Um, no. I like to put these over here. You see these kind of trash cans in like so many different uh, parks and stuff. Like even SDC has some. Not with the red on top, or not like the red, but. I don't know if I'm going to do anything too significant tonight, just kind of like uh, some cleaning up, stuff like that, like just getting some planter, uh, some pieces there kind of, kind of ready to go. Everything just kind of ready, because baby I'm ready to go. Halloween posters up. Nice. Gray for Halloween. Alright, this will be for the big wheel. Smooth it out. 
smooth it out. Might just finger all this up, I'm not sure yet. Cover it up with some path covers or something. Maybe. Maybe all but that one. These I'll cover up and that one I'll cover up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Highly recommend these path covers. They're in the workshop and they have no theme maker toolkit items, which is also a plus for those that don't like using theme maker toolkit items. They have all the different path covers for each path type too. Like a set. Very, very useful. I use them all the time. For this very reason. Like if I just want to cover up a path or something like that. Very, very nice to use. But yeah, just go in the workshop. Just type in like path cover. And you'll see it. Again, all in-game items too. Which is really impressive. Only downside is when you zoom out, they do kind of like do that if you don't have them too far up. Kind of have them synced in like I do sometimes. And obviously you have to look pretty close, but I mean they, they blend in pretty nice, especially when you're kind of further away. It just kind of looks nice. You know? Not completely perfect, but... Nice. I think... Planet Coaster should have path textures for the terrain that matches exactly with the path. For instance, if you have this path texture, they should have a terrain for that as well. So you could paint in the uh, the little the little spots like that, so you can get a flawless painted. I think that would be a good solution. To be honest. That. I think that'd be great. I'm gonna go to bed. All right. Have a good night, uh, Kennywood fanatic. Thanks for joining. How do you have such patience? I I really don't. Uh, that's the that's the funny part. I really don't have that much patience. I'm actually just as bad as anyone else when it comes to patience in this game. That's the thing. I can't really usually play Planet Coaster more than a few hours at a time. Uh, I have to take breaks. Um, but the best thing to do is just kind of chill. Uh, when, you do, when you're do when you doing kind of like time consuming and tedious stuff like this, you know, you just kind of chill. And maybe listen to some music. Um, when I'm live streaming, it's it's fine because I'm, I'm talking to you guys at the same time. <clears throat> but... Best thing to do is just kind of work a little bit a, a day, you know? It's easy just to give up and, uh, you know, ah, I'll start another project. I've done that multiple times before, but. I have done that before. All right, we're just gonna do some blending of some textures here, make it nice. Just like to dab a little bit of everything in there. I feel like it's a little more realistic when you have like multiple textures just blended in and it kind of helps uh, with a lot, in my opinion, so. All right, we'll get some bushes. Flowers are in there. Like, in some of these grassy patches here. Also, really nice. And maybe, maybe something like this. Uh, of some sort. Put in some benches. I 
benches and I also want to put in those bins as well. Those trash bins. People like to litter. But I don't like them littering. So. <laughs> oh, this is a good way if you want to use like the theme matrix to get trash cans. Just hide them on the inside here. That way they are also functional at the same time. What's the name of the thing you're using to split the pads and your ground? Are you talking about like the path cover? Um, oops, sorry if that was loud. I hit my microphone. I always seem to do that all the time. I'm sure, it's pretty loud. Okay, we could probably put another ride over here. Maybe this is where I'll put. Oh, maybe I'll put the hyperspin over here. Maybe. Potentially. Just because there's some space over there. Oh, the wood thing? Like, uh, the, the little curb here? This is the Haunted House Wooden Beam. Uh, it's part of the spooky pack, but there's a lot of different wood pieces you can use, but I was just using this one for this particular area. It's just a wooden beam that's in the buildings here. Under columns, I think. And it's just one of these, uh... It's just this little thick guy right here. This little thick beam. I just kind of sunk into the ground and recolored it brown. Um, but there's a lot of different things you can use. Sometimes I'll use uh, use uh, this one as well, which is the thick wooden beam. And uh, this one's also uh, just the base game. Um, and this one is too. When you've been playing the game as long as I have, I've played since the alpha days, um, I still have times where I lose stuff myself, so, <laughs> so you're not the only one. Like, there's still sometimes like, oh, what's that one piece? You know, I know a lot of the pieces for the most part, but I still have times where I can't find certain pieces that I'm looking for. <sighs> at some, sometimes, at times. Did I put the carousel up here? No. I thought about putting a ride up there just to attract more people, but after leaving the guest flow test for the longest time, it actually... Uh, a lot of people actually ended up coming up here. More than I thought they would, so... Which is actually a good thing. Not at first, but... Um, they did end up making their way up there, which is definitely nice. Okay, I'm... Almost thinking about doing another path coming across here just to kind of complete it. Oh, I never actually connected the <laughs> this wheel yet. Just to kind of make this path kind of nice and open. I just want there to be a lot of path here. That's what we want. Lots and lots of paths. If I can get this corner quite. I'll make that work. Um, and if we need to cover that up, that'll be pretty easy to cover up with the covers. So. Just wanted to make one more nice little planter over here. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, I'm still thinking about how if I do a waterfall over there, I still I don't know exactly how yet. Or what I'm gonna do for that. I'm definitely gonna add something up there. I just haven't, like, completely committed on, uh, what I want to do. 
the thought about doing some sort of waterfall or uh, along those lines, you know. <sighs> Metal posters that are called display. Uh, I have seen display before. They they make some like little. Uh... I have visited that uh, visited that site before. A bunch of mama or wall, some Halloween ones. Uh, I'll definitely have to check some of those out. I know they're a little pricey, but they're definitely really cool. Benny's Falls. <laughs> they are pretty cool. Uh, I thought about getting one myself, though. It would be nice to hang up on the wall and and stuff like that. They are they are really nice. leaves in fact I'm very curious I'm just gonna go there right now collect your passions I haven't been on the site for a while but they do have some cool ones like I'm a big spider-man fan they got some really cool spider-man ones that I kind of want to get um, you know, forty-four dollars. That's not too bad. That's a medium. Let's see what. Uh, how big is that? Yeah, medium, large, and extra large. I'd probably just get the medium one, but looking at a really cool Spider-Man one right now. <laughs> love my. I uh, love Spider-Man. Really cool Spider-Man ones on there. Uh, Morales. Spider-Man's my favorite superhero, so. Oh, there's a cool Mandalorian one. Star Wars. I've seen that one. I've seen that picture before. Let's see. Yeah, Star Wars, Marvel, DC Comics, and Stranger Things. Let's see what Marvel ones they have. Spider-Man. They got some cool Venom stuff. I'll definitely maybe have to get one uh, eventually. Check out the Star Wars stuff. I'm over here shopping. I should be, uh, you know, while I'm streaming, I should be, uh, Working on stuff, but I'm over here looking at looking at these cool uh, these cool things. Getting distracted, I know. Um. All right, a few more trash cans, because you can never have too many trash cans in the park, because those guests, as soon as they find the opportunity to, to litter in your park, they will, so we don't want that, that's for sure. Go. We got that kind. We kind of got that nice and filled up. I like how big the path sprawls out there out here. Uh, just nice and open, you know, with some planters in the, in, in between there. So um, we're just gonna have to clean all this up, and it'll look really cool in the end. So cool, cool, cool. Still trying to figure out where to put the bumper cars here. I thought about maybe right maybe here. Not sure yet. Could leave them out all together. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure yet. Not sure what I want to do. I need to probably build a couple more buildings. 
know, like restaurants or shops and stuff. Two extra ones. I'll probably put one more set of restrooms in the parks, maybe like right here. Uh, that way we have plenty of restrooms that kind of cover throughout the park. Because you got some in the entrance, we got some in the back here. Now I just feel like we need one maybe over here somewhere. Then we'll be kind of all set on that. But it's going to be a nice little charming park when it first opens. That's for sure. But I don't think it will take too much longer. I think we, we don't have all that much left to do. I mean, we got all the... The main thing's done. Obviously, I got to work a little bit on uh, the parking lot and stuff. I don't think that will take too long, though, once we finally figure that out. There we go. Built a saloon for your park. Cool. Saloon. Go see how uh, corkscrews are running here. Main attraction in the park. One of the main attractions in the park. Right of the interior. See, I've never been really good at interior before, so... I think I've gotten better, but I've, I've never been great at it. Sure. <laughs> I keep stepping on your keyboard. I know what that's like. My cat likes to do that too. That's why I usually lock them out during the live streams because they're gonna probably make something happen. They're gonna end the live stream or switch scenes or something. They're gonna hit my like stream deck or something. I know what's gonna happen. Sweet. But yeah, the park's really starting to shape take shape uh take shape now, so that's pretty exciting. Like, every, every little bit, we're starting to get more and more complete. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. Trying to heat up some food. Nice. Heat up that food. Might switch over to Fall Guys here now, so... We can work and uh, have some fun in Fall Guys. And I can always, I usually can only work so long in uh, Planet Coaster. But I wanted to get some stuff done. So. Uh, you might be able to join. Are we are uh, zero G? Are we already friends on on there? I've I've been I've had so many friends lately on there I can't can't keep track of who I'm all friends with so <clears throat> we are okay uh, are you are you called zero G on there as well unable to sync you really need to sync fall guys I don't really have any saves on there it's all like online so. Hype synth, okay. Might assemble a crew here until uh, Derek gets on. Change our game here to Fall Guys. Ultimate knockout. But here we 
go. I don't know why it always takes... I don't know if it's just because it's the Steam version, but it always seems to take so long to load up. Yeah, you don't need to speak. That's, to that's totally fine. More than welcome to play, though. I don't know if anyone else in chat wants to join us, but uh, uh, CRG, you get in here. We'll have two more spots open if anyone wants to join for a little bit. It always takes so long to start. Like, I got the cursor and everything. It's always just a black screen for so long while well, it loads. It takes forever to load. Oh gosh, I just saved my microphone. Holy crap. It literally just, the clamp just like came off. Oh crap. The, the arm just like came off. That was weird. Been nice and tight. I don't know why that just, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I just, it just started leaning over and Sorry if that was loud. I don't know if it was loud or not. Oops. <laughs> that was, uh... That could have been catastrophic. <laughs> Maybe. Could have been. It's okay, we saved it. I'm just gonna turn down the music a bit. There we go. Okay. Hello. Hello. This is the only thing you're gonna get out of my voice. Oh, that's totally fine. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. How much of the new season have you played yet? Uh, I played like 30 or so minutes last night. <laughs> cool. I've gotten a few crowns over the past few days.
and in. Was close. Green thing. Star. I was not paying attention. There are stars now? Yeah, it's not fruit. <laughs> Aw, finally. Is that a shoe? We have a shoe, not... star, uh, star, and an eye? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not really sure about some of the new variations. If we ever get tail tag, there's a tail tag variation where there's a bunch of hexagons on the top. If you bounce up, go for them. If you have a tail, then you will automatically qualify. section do you have a certain strategy for this or you just go like all the way down or um i know you can i don't know if i really have a specific strategy <laughs> except don't do that i just <laughs> I, I just go off the sides and go all the way down to get the golds yeah i feel like it's the easiest Oh, well. I completely missed that. Alright, don't hit those this time. Oh my gosh, really? I haven't even gotten through an end one yet. 
Did I make it? No, I didn't. <laughs> Not even close. That was pretty awful. Are you up for a game of duos or? Yeah, we'll take small for now. I can do duos. Alright. The same one I got on uh, out on last time. Perfect. As long as anything it's not seesaw, seesaw related. <laughs> anything seesaw related, I hate. I prefer this over seesaw, though. Okay, I got top five placements so far. I will take note at the word so far. I'm about to go in. I got third. I'm on my way. We should be good. As long as you qual. Like, Man. even if you get last. I just need top 21. <laughs> that should be pretty easy. Unless you do that. That's exactly <laughs> how I lost last round. <laughs> Is it for you? It is ten fifty. Oh gosh, it's almost midnight for me. Whatever, it's a Friday night. I had a meteorology test and a algebra test today. You. And they're both worth 50% of final grade. <laughs> Jeez. I did pretty well on them, though. That's good. I did solid in school. I was not, like, insanely great, but I wasn't so bad. I had A, B's, a few C's, but... I've been straight A mostly. That's good. I've gotten a few B's, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Of 
course, I've almost been out of school for almost 10 years now. I can't believe Gosh. that. Like, I seriously can't believe that. <laughs> wow. Considering I have college, that I'm, I'm probably going to go to college, it's still going to be a, quite a bit for me. It's okay, though. I'm going to try to get a summer job at Carowinds soon. Cool. I'm not sure when that is, but I will try wait for the next few summers. How many of the space challenges have we got done? How many what? The challenges for the event or whatever it is. Have we got done? I'm not entirely sure. I managed to get all of them done. So I don't have to worry about it. Okay, I got fourth place. Or I'm right, fifth. I'm right oh, behind man. you. Awesome. Yeah, that's solid. We should be able to quarrel. My voice is also very strained because I've been sick for the past few days. Um, today was like my first day back in school since like Monday, Tuesday. Have you done the new final yet? I don't think so. Hexaterrestrial? It's pretty, it's it's not that hard. It's pretty much hexagon, but the hexagons regenerate. But then there's a border that shrinks. Sometimes you can get like 16 player finals with that. Wow. It's crazy. It's probably going to be one of my favorite finals. It, it's pretty fun. Hyperdrive. Have you done this? I have. Uh, it's like a different version of the hoverboard like one. The, yeah, it's. It, I think it's a lot harder. Well, that sucks, because I could never finish the other one. <laughs> as long as one of us calls, we are normally... I, if one of the people on your team call, then you should be okay, so... We will have to see how this works out. It's more or less a lot of avoiding these lasers. If you get, if they, you see that, if they're lighting up and they're about to charge up, then you're done. They will, like, bounce you a lot. As I say that, I got launched.
Oh, I just knocked someone off. Nice. And I knocked another one off. And another one. And almost another one. Don't be late to the party. So far, so good. First place. Nice. Ooh. I think we're good. I only think four or five teams qualified. <laughs> I think it's definitely the hardest new level. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Yeah, it's those uh, hexagon platforms that made me the most nervous. <laughs> Oh, you're probably about to get nervous if we get that hexagon game. Nope. Oh, this is... We gotta work together. Touch the four tiles to light them up and copy the picture on the wall. Oh, boy. So, pretty much, if a tile is already lit, then you don't want to press it again, because then it will deactivate. And if a tile isn't lit, it will obviously activate, so... You gotta be mindful of walking on the tiles. You gotta just... It's like... If you've ever played, like, those Minecraft mini games. It's like that almost. We have to build this object. Or... It's like Squid Game. It is. Oh, so pretty much like that. See? And then... Oops, sorry. I got that. And then so I'll get the final three. one. Okay. And you reach so it. You, here. Oh, yeah. would you, uh, you gotta. There we go. See? Yes. Oh, okay. So if you sit up on it again, it turns mm. off, right? Yep, I got it. Wait, hold on. What's messed up? You gotta get the two. Which one's left? These two. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I got this top. Oh, and then. Oh gosh. One, got it. This is the most annoying to do when you're playing ran with randoms. Mm -hmm. You have the face. Hold on, I gotta, um, gotta make sure I'm doing it correctly. Yeah, that one, and then the three. Right one, there. two, three. There. One more. Oh gosh. <laughs> three, four. Line across. Let's do all the way across up here. Oh, up here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey. Oh, oh. We're close to winning, but I think we were second off. Honestly, this game is pretty fun, but they shouldn't put you in it with randoms. Yeah. It's communication issues. Hopefully you'll be able to see the new hexagon map. We should be in the finals, right? Yeah, probably the next yeah, top one. Eight. Yeah. Top eight. Top eight. I was going to say, there's only eight people left after this, so... There's only four... Duos qualify. This guy's by himself. His partner must have left him. He almost got it, but he didn't. Oh wait, he was probably not on the last one. Oh, he was. 
Nah. <laughs> One quit out. They have a new variation to roll off. Oh, what? Fall ball. Okay, you know what? I might just turn my mic off real quick so I can let it out. The pain of fall ball. <laughs> I'm always on the losing team. I don't know if of that course. just means it's me or what, but... <laughs> I'm always on the... I mean, who isn't? Why are we not in the finals? Because it looks like it's going to be uh, one duo versus the other. That's... I don't know why they would do that, though. Which is kind of weird, but... I'm going to go well, that guy play defense. Just it in. I'm just going to stay on defense. Oh, gosh. Uh, I saved it. Nice. Yeah, now they're gonna have I'm, pain. I'm the only one on. on defense, so or back here, anyways. I can so. help you. I can. Right now, I'm just trying to get this off. Oh, Come on. these guys are. Come on. We got a chance. Oh. These guys are playing good defense too. All right. uh -oh. I, I blocked that one, but oh, this isn't I'm looking gonna, good. No. Oh, no! I launched that straight to that guy, and he okay. just hit it right in. Oh, that one could go in. Oh, yes! It just went on. Sweet. Alright, we got... Good job, good okay, job. We got one. Watch out. We got one coming your way. But you should be okay. Oh, I got another one to the left. Oh, come on. Oh, no. They reversed. They reversed. Sweet. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. I got nice. it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. OT. Get it in. Get it in. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. <gasps> we weren't on the losing team. <laughs> I think I did pretty good on defense there. I did nothing. I just <laughs> helped get it up. All right, one versus the one duo versus the other. I'm probably gonna choke. Me too. <laughs> Tip what? Tiptoe finale. Huh? This is I've never had this. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what this means. It looks like it's tiptoe. It looks, so are you on like, individual? Oh, I think you're on individual squares and just Yeah, and just who, one of us, like if we're on the... I think just one of us has to get it. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, no, maybe not. It might be, have to be both of us. I'm not sure. I'd just be willing to just go for it. What does the button do? It, it's all lock. Okay, well... Why? Oh my Where's goodness. the root here? Probably this. Okay, I got it. Uh, it's it's out. Oh gosh, they're already. Oh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't think we got this. We can try. I'm gonna try the right side here. It should be right side. Somewhere on the right side, but not there. <laughs> Maybe somewhere in the middle. I'm going for it. There it is. Oh, I got it. Good. Um, I'd just you. be willing to make the jump. No, I had it, final one. Just. Oh, it's the middle. The final they got part. It. They got it. The final one's the middle. They got it. No. Good game. <sighs> Something tells me we should play one more duos, considering how well we did. <laughs> Six rounds. That's crazy. That was a long one. I'm just hoping we get... I mean, I've never seen that final before, but... I haven't 
I think the only finals I've gotten so far have been Roll Off, Roll Off or whatever it's called. Um, the new Hexagon and this one, so... Most of the times it's been the, uh, the Hexagon one. Oh no, I've had two Jump Showdowns, and I've won both. Dizzy Heights. Have you, did you play like when it came out originally? Uh, yeah, I've played when the game first came out. I think I played within the first week, but I didn't get my, my Steam account just wouldn't link properly. So I just had to reset all my rewards and stuff. I took a long break from the game. I'm right behind you right now. I'm gonna get second. I got like fifth or sixth. Good performance. What's your favorite Fall Guys round, like ever? Um, I really like, I do like Hexa Ring. That's one of my favorite finals. Oh yeah. I love that. Whenever that Hexa Ring final mode came out, I literally, that was the only thing I played for two days. I just like all the survival games in general. Except for the Snowball one and the Rhino one. Those two are just painful. For the record, I prefer Grubhub, but <laughs> I have to, I, I say that every time I get this round. place to be is just right just right behind a few people so you can tell where to go right away <laughs> Honestly, thinking that the new fire of the hole would be SNS because you know RMC can make their track. They did they did it with the free spins. Right, I know they. I feel like SNS is more complicated. I feel oh. like they'd be better at making the ride system and stuff. But I hate wall guys. I I mean, considering how lightning rod went, I'm considered I'm kind of scared about a prototype RMC. 
I wouldn't think it would be a maintenance nightmare, but... You never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Although, on my visit this year in June, Lightning Rod was open all day, no bright sounds. I've never had issues with Lightning Rod. Every time I've gone, it's worked. It's... Ran Last just year fine. it broke down like five times on my visit. The year before it was closed the entire day. So I've just I don't have the best relations with it. The only time it hasn't been open for me is when it was going getting the eye box treatment. But I already that knew was the time. I already knew it was uh, gonna oh, be closed. No, it, literally, so. it got announced a day before I went, so I'm in trouble. I hate this round. Always just get trampled I'm on by on everyone. The final one. Okay. Oh, I had it too. Dang it. Pretty sure I see the root. Get out of my way. Ah, uh, there's too many people. Why are they moving it? So you can just fly up to the platform? Maybe. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, no, the fan almost killed me. This person's... Oh, my gosh. All right, I got fifth. As long as you somehow call, we should be... Okay. Oh my gosh, get out of my way! <laughs> oh gosh, we're not gonna call. Go away, fan. Ooh. I gotta stay. Eighth. <laughs> Maybe. I think we- I think we made it. By the skin. I don't even know how that saying goes. Whenever Derek gets on, I'm probably gonna get off. Yeah, he's already on. I think they're waiting on me. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it depends on how many he has in his party. Looks like it's him and Steve, so. I'll see. I'll, I'll be on standby. Or I could take the fast lane, but you know. Oh, here we go with this one again. I met you once in Silver Dollar City. It was like early October last year. Oh, okay. I just said hi. <laughs> I'm a coaster enthusiast. I'm antisocial. Oh, I am too. Like I'm like on stream. I might I might seem like I talk a lot, but like in person, I'm very quiet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the same one. So. I had no problems last time, but let's see. <laughs> I've been doing perfect one round, and the next time I have this, I just completely failed. Hey, EJ, if you want to let them know that we just keep winning, and that's why it's taking so long. <laughs> They remind me of the little things you see outside of car dealerships. Oh yeah. I don't think they, they make that makes no sense, but I mean it Oh, no, 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 Ooh! That was close. Oh my gosh, that was a good. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I almost got that guy. I almost killed myself just to sacrifice. No! I almost got sacrificed. Okay, now I'm sacrificing one of them. And I killed him. I killed the guy who's tried to sacrifice me. Oh! I love rank revenge. Oh, I almost got another one. Yep, got him. 
should be able to make this jump. I just want to get ahead of one. everyone so no one cuts me off on these yeah, hexagons. Just, you do not want to get towards the back for these hexagons. Alright, I'm right up front, doing good. I'm in front too. Yep. Yeah. We are smooth sailing. As we stay in front, I think we'll be just fine. Oh my gosh, he almost killed me. I just, like, my brain died. Go away, hammer. Something. Go away, hammer. Stop targeting me. This hammer scares me so much. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I'll go to the left. You're good. You're good. I think we got first and second. Yeah. Oh, Let's go. Right. <laughs> Before anyone even thought about qualifying. Okay, so we have four duos left. I do a lot of coaster YouTube stuff. I have like 500 subscribers, but cool. I've bad. mainly stopped doing this because, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's too... I mean, I'm not making money, which <laughs> doesn't discourage me in any way, but I mean, I don't get really any payback for it, so... There's no real, for now, function to do it other than to make me happy. And I have nothing to do. Or not nothing to do, I have a ton to do, so. Alright, Pixel Painters. Okay. Oh, well this is easy. Except you gotta find out where it is. One, two, uh, third one. One, two, down. wait, ooh, I got this. I got the... Okay, I got that one. Sweet. Uh, one, two, three. I think I can. You got this one. Uh, watch out, there's one right there that you gotta get. Oh, there's I'll still... get this one. There we go. Oh, gosh. I think it's. Okay, no hurry. That one. I think it's just. Yeah. Wait, there we go. Last one. All one, ones on top. Two. One, two, three, four. Oh, 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 nice, oh. first one. This is much easier when you're having voice chat. I was trying to get my challenges done today with randoms in squads and it was painful. Like. You never know what you're gonna get. What's your opinion on the season so far? Just, uh, sort of a city, or...? I'm talking about, like, Oh, oh, Fall, Fall Guys. I'm just dumb. <laughs> I think it's cool so far. Uh, for the little bit that I've done so far. I think it's... I think it's nice that it's a bit challenging. Yeah. I like seeing different stuff. Oh, wait, no. If no one doesn't... If people don't make it for 25 seconds, then we could win. I just hope these guys don't... Don't use their brain for 15 seconds. Nope. I'm taking so long. This guy just gave up. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Derek's literally just waiting on me. It's 
just been waiting the whole time. I'm surprised. You didn't do like a round or something. We've just been winning too much. I put in the chat saying we're in our last round finally. I think we are. <laughs> or are if we? we get a team game. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this again? Is this like a duo? I guess this is like the duo game now. It must be like a du special duo one. Maybe we'll get it this time. I think one person should just YOLO it, the other person should also YOLO it. I don't even know. Oh, do we have to both get the crown or is it just one? I think it's only one. As long as just one of us gets it. Tiptoe and Fall Mountain. Does this button actually do anything? I think it just shoots balls. All right, right there, right there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Those two. I'd say go straight out. Yeah. Straight. Just make the jump. <laughs> oh, make the jump. Make the nope. jump. Nope. Okay, so just make the jump. Oh. <laughs> make the jump. I, I say. keep. I keep trying too hard to Woo! find the. <laughs> this is like just a one in three chance, you know, of winning. Oh, I found it. I see it. It's off. You see it? Yep. Okay, um, cool. Nope. Don't want to just try to... Okay. Oh gosh, I just failed. Alright. Alright, so it's not straight ahead. <laughs> left, left. Oh, no. Okay, I guess it's not. Left up. If you could try to make the jump, then... Yep. I guess that would work. I'm just failing, so... Not, not far, it's not far right on the final one. Not far right. Where are we? So, that here, yep. which... Yep. What's straight out? Oh, no! <laughs> I fell off the thing. I'm gonna go for it. Straight through middle. Oh, no! I think it's middle. Middle? I think it's middle. Just go for it. Uh, just don't go right, left like... middle, where I went. Alright, it yeah. is the middle of the first one is. I think I see it. It's oh, okay, no, I have it. It's 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 like I don't know, it's left. Um, we have it. They we look like I they're have... struggling, so I think we have some. I don't know, time. pretty much struggle. Okay, so right, right there. Ah dang it. So... Okay. I think it's right here. I'm just gonna make the jump. I got it, I think. I don't know how you go up. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that was too painful. Uh, Jacob, yeah, I like, I like Minecraft. It's pretty good. I haven't played it in a while, though. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm going to head over to Derek, so. Do you have an open spot? Feel free to invite me. I'm not sure, I'll have to see. Okay, cool. I'm probably gonna head out uh, eventually. Nice level up, level up. Come on. <laughs> oh, level in. Alright, I'm on my way. So, I'll see you later. Alright, see ya. We, we won. Hey, is Josh coming? Hey, Joe! <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, we got the win. Joe, is Josh coming? Josh? Were you playing with Josh? I was playing with uh, Zero G Coasters. Josh is on. Is that, is that, is that EJ? No, I'm. No, it's not EJ. EJ's been waiting. Yeah. I didn't. I thought Josh was a. Josh doesn't. Let's see. Hold on. I was just over there being sweaty. <laughs> that was technically my first one of the season. It was duos, but... EJ, I sent you an invite. Damn, you were ready for that. Like, <laughs> 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 ready go. I jump in the pit. You notice you can Let's get all the go. way up to... 200 in this season instead of 100. Yes. Make it play right. longer, huh? Get all those crown 
things. For free. Welcome back, Samo. Good to see you, man. How is Apex? Joe, I had Jesus Christ in my chat earlier. Really? Yes, we did. We had Jesus, bro. Yeah. It was insane. <laughs> it oh, was wow. Jesus himself. There was no doubt that it was just a normal human being. <laughs> I, uh, like, uh, it was I definitely asked, not. I asked him when he's coming back. That's the question everyone wants to know. But... Yeah, he did, did he answer? No, he asked if I, uh, <laughs> uh, he did if not. I played with, he asked if I played with my viewers. Oh, crap. Why Seesaw? Because <laughs> uh, why not? <laughs> He also subbed to the channel, so I got Jesus as backing tonight. Oh, wow. Yep. Did you he got have, Jesus on our side. Did he help what's, you get, you, get a win in Warzone? Oh, yeah. We won. He, we won while he was watching, dude. Oh, nice. Yeah. It was, no maybe. joke. And then the next game, he was gone, and we lost the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, it, yeah, it yeah. Was definitely. Yeah, that's how it worked. It was like Jesus was our Lord and Savior. Divine intervention or something. Oh no 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 no! Yeah. Go 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 go. Okay, I'm good. Jesus was our Lord and Savior today. Uh, can this guy piss off? Fuck! Oh my God. EJ, watch your language, Joe. Yeah, now now we're with Joe. We gotta watch it now. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's this pink guy though. Like he he wouldn't he wouldn't get off me, bro. He was in love with me. Kept on hugging me. Oh guys, no! You guys can't stand on it when it's like that, okay? Oh! No 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 no! no. I'm screwed. These He's Christ people. Dumbasses. That how these killed works. me. Seesaw is dumb. Hey Joe, I'm right behind you. <laughs> you have to help oh. me here a little. Make it. Make it tip the way Look, we need it. Look, it's this pink guy again, bro. Can he, like, get off me? Oh, no! no! Fuck. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. think any of us are going to make this. <laughs> hey. Exhaustive <laughs> thinking. Um, <laughs> I don't know yet, dude. I'm, I'm helping others now. Screw all of you. <laughs> I'm definitely not. I'm a dead last. Oh my god. Ugh, get up. Yeah, oh, maybe I'm he's all so great, isn't it, guys? Where's Jesus yeah, when I, I need him? Yes. Like, I'm sitting here on the same platform forever waiting for the other stupid seesaw to come down. Is there a Yetus in this one? There we go. Let go of me! I got it. No, there is no Yetus. Joe, you did great there, dude. <laughs> You're gonna make it, right? Yep. I made yeah, it. Yeah, both of you guys are making we it. We made it at the same time. <laughs> Derek isn't making it. Derek is not <laughs> making it. This game is so fucking stupid. Yeah, I know. See, <laughs> that's because Seesaw is awful. But y'all keep telling me it's so great. Nobody ever, say ever said great? that to you. Yeah, what? when did I ever say it was Nobody great? Nobody ever said the that to part, you. The worst part about Seesaw is like it doesn't always... Is that it's on this game, it's... Fall Guys? It has nothing to do with skills sometimes, and you just have to wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's not not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair because you, you can't use skill <laughs> on it. You, guys. you can't use mm -hmm. skill. It's not about skill. It's about... It's about brain stuff. <laughs> not really. It's just like you just you waiting because everyone brains? goes to the wrong side and you have nothing you can mm -hmm. do about it. So you use your brains, and you stay on the right side. Okay, so only Derek is out? Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's good. Ow. This is the worst one at this game. What? The hell is this stuff? It's the laser beams from the new season. EJ, that was oh, the way I called for. I don't call you out for shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you are, Derek. <laughs> Hey man, I was just trying to speak some truth. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. truth doesn't need to be spoken. What the uh, hell's going on? I don't like what, this new section. It's called the new season came out, and they decided oh. to add this instead of. And I have no idea how to work this. They made changes to all the usual stuff. It's weird. 
just use your brain. What brain? brain? <laughs> you don't have a brain? I work at Silver Dollar City, man. Oh, that is true. <laughs> Yeah, it's all that. It's all the G forces from riding powder Whoa. keg. I don't ride powder keg. That, that goes just sucks. <laughs> it's the worst thing in the oh, world. Oh no! Oh no! I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh, I just made it. You... Oh, okay. Uh, now that what? now that we have uh, uh, Joe ha uh, Joe here, I've I've been thinking of a of the controversial topic that we've been having uh, these these past couple of streams. You seem to be a lot of those. About Thunderation. <laughs> no, we're not starting Thunderation here. Hey, it's, not, it's not controversial, it's just cut and dry. Yeah, it, it is what it is. It's have, a wooden coaster. I have gone through research See, and have you, thought my mind out. UGP can you I, know, think what you want to think, but that's okay. We know the truth. I am going to say Your GP. that a wooden coaster nope. is a wooden is a wooden track that is stacked wooden planks that then has a metal plate on the top and the reason why thunderation is a steel coaster is because it used tubular steel pipes see this is how what they always say and oh but there's wood use... this is what they always say they're like ah oh, there's wood there's underneath it and there's steel yeah. on top yeah. of it so it's a wooden <laughs> topper I mean, yeah, there's no such thing as a wooden coaster. Nothing's all wood. Uh, no. Well, no. So wooden coasters, a wooden how they how they use track. its track, how they use its track, how a wooden coaster is made for track, is they stack planks on top of each other for it to be for the track to be elevated. So they use what does like look make they, the track. They know it's a steel coaster. They just do this to annoy us. No, nah, dude. What? Yeah. There's no, there's I mean, no, there's no wooden coaster. Real in. life wood coaster in the world. Not a thing. No. Not a thing. He Unless does it because he, he knows it works. Trains on top of everything's, everything's he knows hybrid. it. He knows every it. Single, every single one of them. He knows it works us up. That's <gasps> why he, he, they do it. <laughs> what? It's not. It's just. It's not. It's not like that, Joe. Yeah, I can't believe I just died like on this map. I'm watching Joe. Joe's doing fantastic. This map is like one of the easiest maps. I no, know it's not. It. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. And there you go. This is, I hate this map. Yeah, it's the worst. I can oh, never finish worst. it. Whole game. It's the worst now because they decided to freaking. Oh wait, was mess I the only one? The one? Yeah, I died. Okay. So we can leave. Mhm. Mm yes. I'm getting my full galaxy uh, galaxy theme here today. I have the glasses on to pretend that I'm a nerd at. Oh, I should do a, a, a hardcore Minecraft series. Actually, let's do that. Let's not. I could join you for that. I have Minecraft. <laughs> I once made a a really big maze one time. It was really cool. Hmm. I had like little sections, uh, element sections, like there's a lava section, a water section, a jungle section. So just a parkour maze. I found out that when uh, kids come to the park and they want to go in the cave, they think it's Minecraft. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? Do they actually? Yes. What a bunch of stupid kids. <laughs> Steve, is Derek, this, did you is hear why Minecraft? we... Is this Minecraft? Did you hear why we suspended earlier today at Outlaw? I, I'm off. Oh. You guys suspended at Outlaw Run? Yes, because uh, someone stole our Sharpie. A kid stole our Sharpie. And then proceeded to draw something inappropriate on our train. He drew oh, it on the screen? On the lap bar. You remember kind of like kind of like last year, Steve, when all those super all you guys came down and you wanted to see it but it was already gone. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> it, that's what they can drew. You, can you please describe mm. to me what they drew? Oh I remember that. Yeah. They yeah, that they drew funny. it on the they drew it on the shin bar this time. With a oh. Sharpie. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> see tell me tell me in a Simple description of what they drew. It was a penis. Yeah. Thank you. 
<laughs> Can't get more simple than that. No. Nope. Yeah, no, it, it was it was balls last time, right? Yeah, penis with balls. Oh, you gotta be. Last time, yeah. last time it was carved into the seat. They like used a knife or something to carve it yeah, in. Yeah, I remember. That. What yep. is? So they what? had to. Yeah. So maintenance had to get a sander and sand it down and get it out of the seat. So if you're in the very last row and you see the seat in front of you has been sanded down, that's why. <laughs> because of last year. And the worst part was it was a uh, mom and her daughter that uh, is the one that pointed it out to us uh, last year. Oh, I think we just did the glitch. No one's talking. Yep. It removed me from the... Well, happy to know the glitch is still in, uh, in here. This stupid party glitch. Oh no. <clears throat> now, the worst part about that is like little kids too that drew it. I'm pretty sure we know who did it, but I mean, they never came back to the raid. They stole our Sharpie, too. Alright, who's left? Me, Steve... Did Derek make it? I don't see... Yeah, he did, okay. Space Race? What's this? I say kids, it was like, they were probably like 9 or 10. I haven't done this one yet. right into that. How do I mess myself up? Oh, well that wasn't smart of me. Gosh. This looks horrible. Yep, it is horrible. Oh, okay. We don't die. We just go down here. Oh, I hate this. This keeps messing with my head of what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Oh, no! Oh, no! Derek got in my way. Why am I all by myself up here? What's going on? Am I, I feel like I'm in last. I know I'm not in first. I don't know what's happening here. Am I going backwards? I'm going backwards. What the heck? It spawned me facing backwards. I hate it when it does that. I'm like, wait, these look familiar. There's a reason why they look familiar. 
I ran backwards. I think I'm just gonna go to the middle here. These seem easier. Don't grab me. Stop being that person. Like, seriously. People are so dumb. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, not calling on this one. Ain't no way. Uh, that was, uh, that was rough. I don't know if anyone made it. Let's see. I saw Derek right in front of me. Uh, St Steve made it. I think he's the only one left. I was running completely backwards on that. Went the wrong way. Uh. Oh, it's stomping ground. Making custom curbing bearable. <laughs> custom curbing can be a little boring, but just put on some chill music and something on in the background and just uh, do it at the same time. You won't even notice. Yeah, the K-E-R-B is the, the one that the guest will avoid. That's what it is. Oh no, Steve! Oh no! <laughs> he got yeeted out of that one. <laughs> Get that. That was, uh, not good. I gotta exit out and get back in the party since uh, it booted me. Ugh. There he is. Welcome back. Darn glitch. Hey, Joe, I was so proud of how you did Seesaw, LG. Yeah. LG. You were, like, flying through it, dude. I was right behind you. Yeah, you guys got lucky on Seesaw there. Joe is pure skill. I got, I got completely demolished on that one. Ay, 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 ay. You ready, EJ? Yeah. No, okay. So, uh, are they taking out that, uh, that fire ride or whatever? The firefighter ride at all? No. No. They're gonna burn, they're gonna burn half the bar down. I'm gonna <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. They started on that last year. Fire department. Yeah, they started last year. They started with. They just burned down parts of the park to, to get get them insurance money and rebuild it. Steve, you should um, check with safety and see how to become one of the volunteer firefighters for the park. Because there's certain <laughs> members of leadership who are on the like response team for Silver City. Mm hmm. And I could have, I could just, I can envision you being a fireman. Why? Because I already have the red hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I noticed they started construction on where the buildings burnt down. That's uh, that's another break room. That's um, gonna be. That's another. That's they, another lounge. They got, they got rid of wildfires entrance. That's another lounge. I'm so we're, gonna have, we're gonna have three lounges they, now. They took out that, yep. that they took out that pathway down there. Actually, that's, a, that's the employee parking lot. 
They're, uh, Joe, they're going all out for employees now. Employee so, lounge and parking lot right there in the three, middle of the park. Three employee lounges and Ooh. three parking lots. For sure it's going to be uh, some pork rinds are coming back somehow, I bet. Pork rinds aren't coming back. They are already back. So are they building a, a giga there? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they're going to do uh, air fried pork rinds. Mm. <laughs> yeah, hey, that would be a lot um, safer. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a new restaurant and some shops. I think it's but gonna be exactly bigger, the same. bigger than bigger than what it used to be, because they are doing construction all the way back to the waterfall. Nice. I noticed. So. You mother fucker! <laughs> you see that? Derek? Oh gosh, I wasn't ready <laughs> for that. Did you see my jump? I didn't see your jump, I saw some dude fucking he did it again! I swear to god I'm gonna beat this guy's ass. I don't like the zero gravity thing being there. Yep. It was different. I made it! You're a fucking <laughs> little Oh yeah. Oh I made it. Yeah, so uh so Joe, uh so uh, Bush Gardens is building uh a scream and swing. Fuck off too. Right yeah. next to uh, Pitch on uh, Iron Gwazi. Did you make it, Derek? Yeah, but this piece of shit pitch as on their, Pichu is my goal for the rest of the game. For, just to fuck for, him uh, up. I think, I think 2023. I think. Is Silence, there. I'm sorry, Joe's ignoring you, man. He's still thinking about the fire. I didn't rides. ignore him. Sid, so we get 30 minutes for lunch. You only get 30 minutes for lunch. Mm hmm. He was just on the yeah, wrong account. That's the, of, that's the amount of time I get for my school. And lunch. That's preparing you for adulthood. Uh, <laughs> if I if I work at Silver Dollar City. <laughs> I mean, where well, else would you get more? In the state of Missouri. <laughs> Technically, in Missouri, you don't even get a lunch. State state doesn't state that you have to have a lunch. So they don't have to give you a break at all if they don't want to. Mm, I could see. Yeah. Okay. We're just built different. <laughs> <laughs> We're conditioned to being starving. Not me, man. We take our lunch to the supervisors. No, we don't. We take 30 minutes. 30 minutes every day. We're always fucking interrupted. Hmm. We never take an uninterrupted lunch. Oh, there, oh, I haven't oh, had a 30 oh, minutes uninterrupted lunch since There's I became a supervisor. Balls. Where'd this piece of shit go? I want to get him again. Where is he? You can, cl you can click and see names. Oh, shit. Did you not know about that? No, I'm, no, I'm talking about the blast ball. I wasn't saying that. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing great. I'm doing quite well. I usually. I'm do still well here. On this one. I'm right behind EJ. Gaining, gaining ground. Nope. And I'm seven. I think I'm good. <laughs> Those blast balls, man. At the end there. I say hi. Oh my gosh, dude. What are you though? talking about, Joe? You never talk to the chat, Duncan. It's one of those pieces of shits over there. Which one? Silas, you're on the wrong account. You're not on your Fall Guys account. He's eliminated. Like you? <laughs> Joe, you have a Fall Guys account, right? Hey, yeah. Jay. You got your mic working, that's awesome, dude. Air time. Oh, I have not played this one in so long. It's been at least months. And I hate this one so much. I got so close the first time I played it, I got 94%. Oh. I, I won my first ever time. Steve, you ever played this one? No, man. Oh yeah, you need to stay in this one. Yeah, I've played this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to get into the middle. 
Okay. Where am I? Where am I? Or located? bounce on wrong. those uh, bouncy Ooh, things nice. on the right. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna jump to the right right away. Seems like everybody is. Oh, that's that's I'm the only way that you gotta do it. Already. Two percent. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Oh, Fifth I got five. yeeted. <laughs> yeah, you get yeeted because of the because of the um the fan. All right, now I'm cooking. Get out of here. This is mine. Can I please respawn? Uh, yeah. I messed up. This is BS. All right, I'm good. I'm gonna stay on this. I have no fan, problems. you son of a bitch. Oh yeah, fan. I didn't realize there was a fan in there. Oh, sorry. I swear to God, respawn me quick, respawn me quick, game. I'm at 85. You guys suck. I think I'm good. Nah, I made it. I got it. Oh my God. Derek, you should be fine. Nope. Ah, Jay trains is live. You won't game, ignore man. you. I'm sure you won't. I found the problem is turned down too far. So it's just on me, but you couldn't hear. You had your mic turned down too far, huh? AJ, how's football going, man? You guys win? You having a good season? I found J trains. Tail tag. Oh Damn. boy. <laughs> J J trains is playing some sort of pilot pilot game. Oh. I think pilot simulator. Cool. X plane eleven. Ooh. Sounds like a nine eleven simulation. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is a weird ass tail tag. <laughs> This is the new upgraded tail tag. How do you even get up there? <laughs> you have to hit the laser beam. You gotta get your butt probed by a laser beam. This is technically supposed to be a nice spot to hide when you have a tail, I guess? Uh, yeah, if you could say. Joey's coming for you. Stay away from me, bruh. He got, he took, he took, man, he's like so a much than super me. ninja speed. Yeah, like he was like directly behind Look, me. He's, didn't have he's gone. Look at how fast he's gone. You're a Viking, though. You're not built for agility and acceleration. Nah, it's just a... Ow, wow, bro, you really didn't have to do that, bro. All that matters is if I have one at the end. Grab that blast ball. Blow someone up. <laughs> They're all on top. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. I feel strong. I feel yeah, mighty. Seconds. I feel mighty. I feel strong. Ten seconds, Joe. Strong. I feel mighty up here. I'm going ham. Oh, I'm going ham. The there was your chance. I went ham up here, bro. Let's go. That's a GG's for me. Uh, did you just clap for yourself? Yes, I did. I thought I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Hey, cool. You can do it, bro. I that was a perfect game of tail tag for me. Okay, yeah. that's why I was clapping, bro. Gotcha. Man. Let's see if they did anything crazy on this. Probably not, but let's see. No. Okay. Nothing that you can see. Yes, I did. I did clap for myself because I stayed up on the hexagons that entire game with a tail. And I was very proud of myself. <laughs> that thing very is proud. barely moving.
This actually might be... This might be a jump showdown where the top goes faster than the bottom. Oh, so let me get this straight, Silas. I actually say hi to chat because so, J-Trains gets in there and you get mad that I say hi to him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Because you didn't say hi to Silas. Oh my gosh. It's a lose-lose situation because if I wouldn't have said anything... Oh, he's ignoring chat again. That could be true. So I have no way of winning there. Say hi to everybody. Okay, so I think what they did to jump showdown is... Uh, I wish I was on that platform by myself over there. Yeah, everyone's on the same board. Yeah. I knew he was gonna do that. I, you know I won't bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. I could bring it back anytime I want. I brought it back once, I can do it again. Joe, when's your 24 hour stream? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Joe. Can I make it right now? Might have what? To you gotta work though. tomorrow. Well, I, I told, I in, told. But... I told Joe <laughs> that he should do a 24 hour stream when. He launches Wendelverse. We'll play That's some Asmo he... on your 24 hour stream. Oh, oh you gotta oh, be no, kidding no, no. me! Oh, how did you survive that? I don't know, bro. Oh, oh, you no. son of a. Uh, well, he, com he committed. He killed me and himself. Who won? The this Doom. Guy. Look at that guy. Cool. Doom. That guy, the statue guy, grabbed me, killed me, and killed himself. He kamikazed. Alright guys, thanks for playing. Steve, thanks, enjoy, guys. Steve, enjoy your lunch tomorrow and enjoy seeing oh, yeah. the baby. <laughs> oh, for sure. I'll see, see you guys at, tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, see you at Wahlburgers. Sounds good. I think I'm gonna head out for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a pretty nice long stream for over four hours, almost four and a half. So I appreciate you guys uh, coming by, and hopefully uh, we'll get back into the swing of things. So uh, when it comes to doing that, Silas, what are, what are you gonna say? You keep saying no, 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 no. We're doing Sea of Thieves now. I got work tomorrow. That's my punishment? My punishment for what? I don't have to do anything I don't want to. I can go to bed right now. <laughs> it's midnight. It's midnight for me. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for being here. CG Train, Silas, Coast from Now, EJ. back tomorrow so yeah, we could be back in the sea of things tomorrow uh, hopefully we can get fluffy to play because i hope he's not too angry at me i feel like he's mad at me but i'm not, I'm not sure i might message him it's, he's got to be part of it so he's part of the it's for banana so but, all right guys i'll see you guys next time make sure you have a great day and a cool tomorrow i'll see you guys in the next live stream or video whatever it may be and goodbye.